Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage <laughs> to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's Day? <laughs> princess Elizabeth! Date. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, princess. I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Oh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. <laughs> this is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you... You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart, and if it breaks... Something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her. Run. But what about... Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know, because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, your highness. You can play all the games you want, princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not gonna find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but she'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No! It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name. William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? I promise to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother, Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth, you're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart! Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart. Not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding! That prince is evil! William? He escaped? And he's lying! No, it's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me! No! Her heart! Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart. Oh, not yours. William! His last heart... It's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you... You die. <laughs> How could you? 
Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that it wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The guards found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. shared. <gasps> William. Elizabeth. My soulmate controls my hairstyle for the day or my emotions. I might regret this, but I think I'm going to go with emotions because I really don't want him to mess up my hair. Good morning, Mother. Sweetie, I accidentally shrunk your favorite dress in the wash. You can let the dog wear it now. But, but you love that dress. You're sure you're not mad? No worries. I'm off to school. Hey, so, I kind of have this, uh, this crush on you. Okay, your face is kind of scaring me a little. Good, because I don't even know why you're talking to me in the first place. You're right. I, I knew this was a bad idea. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go. We have to evacuate. There's a fire. Oh, you just need to relax. Everything's going to be fine. Mr. Smith, this one student refuses to run. Hey, why aren't you running? I can't really run right now. I'm much too calm for that. Are you insane? Listen, this building is going <clears> to <throat> it's going to come down on us. Come on. I'm taking you out of here. Look, she's alive. Mr. Smith saved her. <sighs> what is wrong with you? I'm sorry, but my soulmate gave me the emotion of calmness. What? Girl, your soulmate almost got you killed. Guys, can I talk to her alone for a sec? Your soulmate almost got you killed. Guys, can I talk to her alone for a sec? Hey, girly. So, what did Mr. Smith want to talk to you about yesterday? He just said that he couldn't help but feel like me almost dying in the school fire was his fault. And then he just took off. Well, that's kind of weird. You know what else is weird? I found out Mr. Smith is only 20 years old. Apparently, he graduated early. That's cool. Yeah, and you've been stuck on happy ever since you talked to him. Her hamster passed away this morning, and it hasn't even phased her. She deserves to mourn for her hamster. Now come to think of it, what if he was just hibernating and I buried him alive? I killed Chubsters. Oh, hey, don't cry. What just happened? Her soulmate must have heard us talking and changed her emotion. You know who I saw walking by when we were talking? Mr. Smith. No, you don't think that he's her... Soulmate? Yeah. You know what? Come with me. We're gonna go talk to him. Mr. Smith? Sylvia, I don't know if you should do this. Oh, hello, girls. Uh, what's up? I know you're her soulmate. Please, don't be anything crazy. I hope you didn't get a bad curse, honey. All right. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be I told you to clean this room, honey. I'm just a baby. Just because you're the youngest doesn't mean you don't have to clean. I get you, baby. You and I, we're just not working out. I can buy myself flowers. I'm sorry. I get some to What the hell are you doing? See, this is why I'm breaking up with you. Is that your report card, honey? Let me see. Hand it over. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I need to see it. Let me tell you something! Only talking in viral TikTok sounds was really annoying. Let's hope this new curse isn't as bad. Must do everything you're... Oh, come on. I can't believe how bad your report card was. I told you I was sorry. You're still grounded for two weeks. What? Come on, how is that even fair? That's enough. Not another word from you, young lady. Mm. Stop fooling mm. around and go to school. Why haven't you been talking at all? You've been super quiet. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Can you just say something? Thank you so much. You are a literal lifesaver. That's such a cute squishmallow. You should just give it to me. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't mean to give you that. Uh, just let me keep it. Okay, you can keep it. Thank you, girly. I always wanted this one. Wait here. Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't move. Stay here. Um, Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't even move from this spot. Jillian? 
What are you doing? Move out of the way! Oh my gosh, thank you. So, you're the girl that's cursed to do whatever she's told. How do you know about that? Uh, you haven't seen the tweet? Jillian knew about my curse? Yeah, she tweeted it to the whole school. Now everyone's gonna try and take advantage of me. It's gonna be okay. Our curses only last for 24 hours. Tomorrow you'll get a new one. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, give me your lunch money. I know you can't resist. <laughs> give that back. Stand back and don't talk to me anymore. Slap yourself. Ah. Now, punch yourself. <laughs> Jillian, what is your problem? You should know. Don't listen to Jillian. Thanks. This whole curse thing just isn't... Want to give Jillian your curse permanently? What? Blake, it said I had the option to give my curse to Jillian permanently. Are you? I don't know. The option just disappeared. She did try to have you hit by a train. Yeah, but... Look, I'm just saying, after that, if I were you, I'd give that curse to her in a heartbeat. Hey. Jillian. Aw, is that a new Squishmallow? Give it to me. You give that back right now. Hmm. No, I don't think I will. What is your problem with me? I know you tried to kill me on those train tracks. Maybe because I don't want you around anymore. Why? Because Blake was my boyfriend and he broke up with me because he likes you. I can't help who Blake likes and doesn't like, and you should- Cover your mouth. I don't want to hear anything from you. Mm. Sorry, I can't understand. What did you just do? Give me back my Squishmallow. Now. No, why did I- I gave you my curse. Permanently. Wait, what? What can I say, Jillian? Karma? It's a real bit. Happy birthday! Ready to find out your sweetheart? What's a sweetheart? It's your soulmate. It's who you're gonna love forever. <gasps> Prince Licorice? What's wrong? Nothing, Lolly. We'll handle everything. Don't worry. Please, can I meet him? No, Lord Licorice is a very evil man, and I'm sure his son is no better. Exactly. But he's my sweetheart. Nope. The system must have made a mistake. Well, hello, my dear. Who are you? You don't know who I am? You really don't get out much, do you? My parents never let me leave the castle. I see. Well, I'm actually a friend of your father's, and I've brought you a gift. Is this taffy? Why, yes. This is my favorite. Try it. Good, isn't it? What's the matter? Mm. Too sticky? Sorry, princess, but I can't have you alerting the guards. I'm going to bring you to meet my son. Son, look who I've brought you. Is that... King Candy's daughter? Yes, indeed. Why are her hands tied? She's very feisty. But I'm sure she's happy to see you. Are you? Mm. Mm. Oh, she can't talk. I gave her the sticky taffy. Dad. There, now you're free. Drink this. It'll dissolve the taffy. It'll take a few seconds to work. Thanks. I'll give you two some alone time. It's really nice to meet you, Lolly. My name is Prince Licorice, but you can call me Luke. Well, I want to go home, Luke. Please stay. I want to get to know you. No, your dad creeps me out, and I don't think I can trust you guys. Lolly, I'm not like my dad, I swear. No, I want to go home, and that's an order. Fine, as you wish. Listen, it's going to be a long journey for you. You're not going to escort me back? No way. My dad would freak. So I have to walk through Candyland all alone? Get it. I don't need you. I can handle myself. Candyland is a very dangerous place, especially for a dainty princess like you. I am not dainty. Well, you sure are stubborn. Goodbye, Luke. Hey, we're supposed to be together. You're my sweetheart. Well, having me kidnapped wasn't very sweet. That wasn't my idea. Whatever. Just go. I don't even care anymore. Ugh. What is this stuff? Chocolate swamp? Uh-oh. Oh, this stuff is like quicksand. What do I do? Wait, I think my lollipop still has a little bit of magic in it, so maybe I can turn this into hard chocolate instead. <gasps> it's working. What are you doing in my swamp? Um, I was just leaving, sir. Hey! What is this place? Princess? Are you lost? Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, here, have some cotton candy. Thank you. This is so good. Glad you like it. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Perfect. You should spend the night here. Okay. <laughs> the king is going to pay a lot of money to get you back. Here, have some more. 
Let her go. Prince Licorice, what are you doing here? I'm saving her from you. That's my sweetheart. Isn't he handsome? Hand her over, or else... You think I'm handsome? How could I not think you're handsome? Just look at how big your muscles are. <laughs> how much cotton candy did you have? A lot. I'm sorry, Prince Licorice. I didn't realize she was your sweetheart. Please don't tell your father I did this. We won't have a problem as long as you let us leave. Let's go, Lolly. Bye. How you doing? Better. I didn't realize that the cotton candy made you loopy. Listen, I'm sorry for getting mad at you. You really didn't do anything wrong. Nah, you're good. I'm sorry, too. So you think I have big muscles, huh? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we should start walking back. There she is! Seize him! Arrest him, now! Get off of me! He didn't do anything wrong. Get her to safety. Luke! Mom, Dad, you have to let him go. He was an accomplice to your kidnapping. Even though he's your sweetheart, he has to pay a price for that. No, he was the one that rescued me. What? He did. Yes, I've been trying to tell you. He was the one who saved me from the cotton candy fairy. Honey, we need to release him. Lord Licorice took my daughter. I say we keep his son. Dad, that isn't the way. She's right. You two need to make amends. Thanks for getting me released. Of course. It's the least I can do. I'm really happy our parents are getting along now. I'm so glad, too. I need to ask you something. Lolly, will you make me the happiest man in Candyland and... Marry me? Yes. Everyone, we're engaged. Aw, oh, congrats, sweetheart. Just look at that ring. Congratulations. Lolly, I couldn't have asked for a better soulmate. Me either. Wanna come to a party? Uh-uh, if you wanna come, you have to talk. <laughs> no writing stuff down either. Give me that. <laughs> Aw, she's getting sad. Hey, give that back to her. There. <laughs> Here, what's your guys' deal? Relax, new guy. We were just playing around. Yeah, it's not our fault her voice is locked. You know, she's the only girl in the whole school that hasn't kissed her soulmate. It's a small school. She can just text what she wants to say. Actually, no. Her parents don't even let her have a phone. Don't listen to them. Here's some paper. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, you okay? You're kind of shaking. Is everything all right? Do you want me to open it? Stella! What are you doing? You're not supposed to talk to boys. Let's go. Let's go! If the world was ending, you come over right. Got her talking to a boy today. Probably trying to find her soulmate. But that's never gonna happen. Cross my heart and hope to die. Stella? What the hell is wrong with you? Are you alright? Aw, uh, you haven't kissed your soulmate yet, have you? Well, are you in some sort of trouble? Stella! There you are. What's going on? Are these your parents? Oh, stop it. Come here. So sorry about this. Whoa! Time to go. What did you do? He did what had to be done. He's gone. And it's your fault. Anybody home? That's the boy from her school. I'll take care of this one. She's freaking out over here. What'd you do with the boy? Relax. I sent him home. I told him you were asleep. He seemed worried. Have you been asking people for help at school? You better not be, because you know what will happen if you do. Now tomorrow, you're going to smile and go to school, and if your mom catches you talking to that boy again, he's going to meet the same fate as the truck driver. Stella, I want to talk to you about the note. Wait, I think I know how to help you. I'm pretty sure that you and I are, uh, soulmates. You think so too, right? That's why you gave me the note, so I could help you get your voice. You need me to kiss you. Hey, it's okay, I know you're nervous, but it's worth a shot, right? Come on, you gotta unlock your voice. One kiss. Did it work? I don't know. Hey, we're soulmates, all right. There's something that I have to tell you. What do you want to tell me? The woman that's coming, she's not my real mom. I was taken from my real parents. What? Why would they do that? Because they wanted my- Stella, you're kidding me. Guess you didn't learn your lesson. Hey, let's go. No, you can talk? Wait a minute, shouldn't you be happy for her? I am happy, it's just that my daughter, she's deeply troubled. 
Don't listen to anything that she- Oh, hush. Ow. Hey, is she alright? She's okay, but like I said, she's not so well in the mind. Can we have a moment? Uh, okay. No, wait. Let go. I have my voice back now. It's over, Karen. Everyone is going to know the truth about what you... About what you... Shh, that's enough. Ugh, I don't know what we're going to do. The little brat kissed her soulmate. Well, she's not going to stay asleep for long. I think her soulmate might have called the... Hey, this is the police. Open the door. Shit, we have to hide her. Good news, I got the cops to leave. Great, because she wouldn't stop squirming. You guys can't just hide me here forever. She's right. Well, do you got any bright ideas? Legend says if a girl's soulmate dies, the girl loses her voice permanently. You're going to call your soulmate and invite him over. No, I won't. Yes, you will, or you're never going to see your real family again. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry for confusing you today, and I just wanted to tell you that I'm fine, and I was wondering if... He wanted to come over. Yeah, sure. Such a good girl. I think he's here. Uh, she's right there. Stella! What's going on? Run! Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the- Achoo! No! At least it's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised. I know, I'm so sorry. Come on, girl, you're like the mutual friend. If you don't come, then no one else is going to want to come. Look, my parents said no. She doesn't want to come to your party because she doesn't like you. You sure that's the reason? Yes, I wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. She's lying. Your mom just grounded her. Mom just grounded you? How did you know that? You weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now, get out. Oh, whatever. Does this hair clip tell me the truth about people? Hey babe, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry babe, I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. Hey babe, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart, then where does he... I'm following him. What is he doing here? This place looks super sketchy. What do you think you're doing, huh? Come here. Hey, boss, look who I found snooping around here. Babe, what, what is going on? Babe, you know this girl? I've never seen her before in my life. I'm sorry, did our two years together just mean nothing to you? Two years? Have you been keeping secrets from me? I told you, you know what the rules are. He's trying to protect you by lying. He works for very dangerous men. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriends. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. He's lying to protect you. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriends. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. <laughs> you see, sir, I would kill her, but you know, I don't want to mess up this new shirt, so- Either you kill her, or him and I will do it ourselves. No, please. Look, let's just all settle down. You just- I think I'm going to need a change of clothes. Really, babe? The Mafia? You're lucky I find that kind of attractive. Well, I know a place we can lay low. I bet. But we got to be careful who we trust. I have something that can help with that. Get a winning lottery ticket or give a winning lottery ticket. I mean, my parents, they're already millionaires, but a little extra cash never hurt. Excuse me, do you have any money? My parents abandoned me and... I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. Wait! He needs this. I pick this one. Hey, wait up! Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? What the heck? What is this? It looks like a lottery ticket. You should probably scratch it, you know, and see if you won anything. You think? Okay. No way. No freaking way! I won! Well, congrats. You should probably go cash that in. I just won a million dollars. <laughs> what was your name? Uh, my name's Jace. I'm Lindsay. It's really nice to meet you. Did you hear about the super attractive guy that transferred here? No. It doesn't matter. Rachel snatched him up anyways. 
Of course she did. She literally gets all the guys. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> Wait. Jace? Huh? Are you his friend? Well, I thought he was my friend. I just met her. Hey, what's this? That's not funny. This is special to me. Let go. Relax. No, dude, let go. Oh, poor baby. Whatever. She's no fun. Who wants to go shopping at Gucci with me? Me, me. I do. What happened to you? What can I say? Money changes people. Yeah. I need to talk to you. Um, sorry. Jace is busy. Back off, Rachel. This is important. Listen, the only reason that you're rich, Jace, is because of me. <laughs> I'm being serious. You saw something on the floor and told me to look. That's it. I was the one that got the ticket for you and put it for you on the floor. Girl, you need to stop lying. It's embarrassing. It says it above my head. Oh, you want to know what sucks? Only you can see that. You're in love with Jace at minute. I am not. Right. So all this is not you trying to get his attention? Girl, be for real. Yo, Jace. What's up? Looks like Lindsay was telling the truth. Check out this video. Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? So she did throw the lottery ticket on the floor for me? Yeah. Damn it. I gotta go talk to her. Jace, it looks like she needs water. Maybe give her this? Yeah, okay. Hey, I saw the viral video. I'm really sorry. So what you're saying is it took video proof for you to believe me? Nice. Wait. I want to make it up to you. I literally owe you big time. I'll buy you anything. I don't know. Don't you want to go hang with Rachel and all her friends? Not really. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna go get some water. Hang on. It's funny you say that, because I have some right here. Are you sure that this was just water? I mean, yeah, Rachel gave it to me. Rachel? What? Yeah, she just said you looked thirsty. Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? She is not. I've seen her drink lemonade. Rachel, she's obviously having a reaction. Girl, you don't have like an EpiPen or something? No, I, I didn't bring mine today. Well, that was dumb. I'm gonna go see if I can find a teacher. Rachel, hurry. It's getting really hard for me to breathe. Where the heck did Rachel go? She's supposed to be getting help. Jeez, I can barely breathe. Okay, we gotta get you help. There's a hospital down the street. Come on. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way, hurry. Jace. Lindsay? Oh, thank God you're okay. The doctor said that I'm free to walk around for a little bit. Oh, good. Do you need me to call your parents or anything? No, I've already tried. My parents are both actors, and they're on a plane right now to Spain to shoot a movie. Oh, well, whoa. Sorry. It's okay. You should probably go back and sit down. Yeah, probably. Easy now. And I want you to know I'm covering all your medical bills. You didn't have to- It's the least that I can do, Lindsay. Really. Also, I brought this for you. I remember you said it was special to you. Thanks. I also got you a few things, too. Those enough? Because I could buy more. Yeah, I think I think this is good. Thank you. Hey, you made me a millionaire. I literally owe you everything. And I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. <sighs> Officer, wait, see? She's fine. I don't need to go to Juby. Jeez, help me out. Sorry, Rachel. Really hope you learn your lesson. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, no. Girls, meet the newest member of our organization. This is number 98. It's time for you to receive your mark. My mark? Mm-hmm. Every girl here has one. Scanning complete category. Red. What does that mean? You are one of the special ones. Now hold out your wrist. This is how that is the mark of the assassin, my dear. Now go get ready for training. Some assassin you are can't even take a punch. Looks like you're not unconscious. Great job, 98. Hey, what you did back there with 23? I kind of went too hard on her, didn't I? Actually, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm 52, by the way. I'm 98. This is how Good work. This is your final test. You are to eliminate the subject. Bring it out. Your mark doesn't allow for any weaknesses. What are you waiting for, 98? Take the shot. Aye. What is our motto? No attachments, no weaknesses. That's right, and you've worked very hard to get here, so don't blow it. I can't. <laughs> Idiot! Show me your mark. That's the assassin's mark, not a coward. Now pick up your weapon. Prove to me you have what it takes. What are you- Hey, it's okay. I got you. Oh, you chose that dog over me! 98? What's going on? I'm escaping this place. Come with me. Is that a dog? 
Yeah, I'm saving it. Come on, we have to go now. I can't. I have the mark of a technophile. I'm not as agile as you. I can't make it out of here. 52, that's not true. We can make it if we... Attention all girls. 98 has gone rogue. She must be stopped by any means necessary. I think I know a way you can escape. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I got the back gate open, but you gotta run fast. Okay. It's 98. Get her! <laughs> hey, we made it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm really gonna miss... <sighs> Excuse me. Do you need some help? Yes. I sort of ran away from home. Oh, darling. Uh, do you need somewhere to stay? Okay, well, it's not safe here for you and your little pup. Why don't you come with me? Come on, honey. Let me help you up. So, darling, what happened to you? Um, I'd rather not talk about it. That's okay. Oh, uh, I see. Wait, what's that on your wrist? Oh, it's just, uh, something I drew on myself. Darling, I prepared a bed for you and your little pup. You better get some rest. Thank you so much. I'm happy to help. Morning. Your little pup was looking for you. Do you want me to call your parents? No, I, I don't have parents. Oh, are you a foster child? I was. That mark on your wrist, does that have anything to do with where you came from? Darling, I want you to know that you can trust me. But if I'm going to let you stay in my house, I need to know more about you. Okay. And the next thing I know, I wake up and I can't remember my name. Instead, they gave me a number. 98. Oh, darling, that's awful. Listen, you can stay here as long as you like. Thank you. It's my pleasure. No child should have to go through that. Now, let me get you cleaned up, all right? Because that sure is a pretty bad cut you got there. All right, I'm going to go get you two some food. I'll be back. Hey, girl, calm down. 98. 52. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I found you. I escaped. Hey, Curl, relax. She's a friend. Listen, a nice lady let me stay here, and I'm pretty sure she'll let you stay here, too. Really? Where is she? Oh, she's at the store. Good. I mean, good for you, 98. I'm glad you found help. Wait, what was that? What? That sound. Do it now. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you on comms with the director? Uh, you weren't supposed to hear that. <laughs> stay back. <laughs> Shut up. Go get help. No, hey, get back here. Sorry, 98. Yes, ma'am, I'm, I'm bringing her now. She's more skilled than I thought. We just need to make her more compliant. You must comply. No, no. You will comply. You must. Okay, I think that's enough time. Now, tell me a mission, 98. To eliminate the dog. And what else? And get rid of the woman who took me in. I'm glad you understand, because there's no room for air. So you're going to do exactly what I say. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Hi, girly. Oh, hi, girls. Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Is that a Ross tag? This? I just put that on there so people wouldn't steal it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm going to have him make yours public. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm-hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. Oh, boy. What are we going to do? 5% is like peasant material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow I'm going to be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. 
You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or... or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right. It's canceled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! <sighs> Todd! How dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... <gasps> uh, let me go, you jerks! Read this. Uh, I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him tr- oh! Yes, Todd, get them. Oh. Oh. And this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're going to treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Why is this not coming off? You may not remove the outfit. You gotta be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked... Early 2000s? <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this gonna go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. <sighs> what am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. Ugh. You may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right, well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses, just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip, gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You've got to help me find my soulmate, because I am not going to be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl, I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him eventually. <sighs> what the... Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom? Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. 
No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach movie. <laughs> Hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey. What? I was talking around and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man. Mom. <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey. Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom. But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now, because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom. But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom. But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney. Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the? I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's gonna regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's gonna meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good.
Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may now dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what era your soulmate dresses from now? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with? So if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. <gasps> oh my gosh, girl, is this hottie with an accent your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe? You're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but, you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Yes, I deserve it. Rudolph the red nose reindeer had a very shiny... Stop! What the heck, Stacy? <laughs> Girl, look up. I just saved your life. They banned Christmas music. This is ridiculous. I was just starting to get into the Christmas spirit. Who is that? It's Mr. Smith. He's singing Jingle Bells. He has his AirPods in. Mr. Smith, stop! One horse open. No. Sweetheart, you got a smile. It's picture day. Come on. I don't feel like smiling. Well, you know what? At least take this brush and comb your hair a little before I take your picture, okay? Uh-oh. Not today. Ew! You got me right in the Sorry. eye! Hey, babe, what are you doing? Well, brushes are banned, so I figured I would try a fork. <laughs> what are you, the little mermaid? We have to break we up. We need to break up. No more Mr. Smith, no more boyfriend, but at least I still have you. Oh no, they don't. Anyone with a dog has to hand it over to me. We have to hide you. Ma'am, you do realize dogs are banned. Of course, but fortunately for Billy, he's not a dog. Uh-huh, nice try. Hand over the dog or else... Damn it. Yes! So glad dogs aren't banned anymore. Oh my gosh, I know, right? I'm glad yours didn't get taken. Hey, I like your notebook. Thanks, I got it from the Brianna Missouri merch store. Oh, cool. <gasps> Someone is seriously out to get me. <sighs> oh gosh, why does it smell so bad in here? Sorry, did you see what they banned this morning? I mean, come on. They banned deodorant, not showers. If I don't have deodorant, then I don't shower. Hey, since boyfriends are unbanned, do you want to get back together with me? I kind of want to get to know you more. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Sweet. And here comes another banned item. <laughs> wow, they just banned dresses. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really going to get to know you now. Oh! I'm not taking this off. Help me hide. Come on. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wear a... This way. Let's go. I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really gonna get to know you now. I oh. am not taking this off. Help me hide. Come on. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wear a... This way. Let's go. I know you're freaking out, but I have an idea. We cut your dress in half. What? It'll be a two-piece. Jake, that's actually a great idea. Right? Okay, hand me the scissors. I don't know. Your hands are kind of shaky, so... Jake, I'm fine. Just hand me the scissors. Uh, I feel like I should do it, to be honest. Jake! I'm kidding. Chill. Here, take the... I'm safe. <sighs> but I'm not. Can you close your eyes, maybe? Please tell me you're wearing boxers. I mean, yeah, but still, just close your eyes, okay? Thanks. I appreciate you keeping your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. It's been an hour. <laughs> they better unban pants soon. What? What are you laughing at? No, it's just, um... Why do your boxers say Merry Rismus? Hey! Sorry, I might have looked just for a second. Ugh, they were a gift. Stop, stop looking. Please tell me I can open my eyes now. Uh, you might not want to. Why? Well, because that's why. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency. Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency. Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. My dad's in charge of this system. How could you not tell me this? It's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell. So you could change the band item whenever you want? Why didn't you change it when it's addressed? It's not like my dad just does whatever I say. It's only for emergency purposes. 
Please don't be mad at me. How does your dad even know to change the stuff? He has a microphone on me that he'll listen to. He's kind of a psychopath. Yeah, no kidding. Please, wait. I need to be alone. If you're creeped out that my dad's always listening, he doesn't listen all the time. Uh... Necklaces are banned. Is your dad out to get me or something? No, I mean, maybe... This is stupid. If you really care about me, have your dad end this whacked up system. Don't you think I've tried? Please, just take off the necklace. Fine. It's stuck. Hey, looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me. Looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me. Sit in the elimination chair and don't let go of him. Yes, ma'am. Elimination chair? Jake, what is she talking about? I won't let them do anything to you. We shall see about that, son. Dad, let her go. She didn't break the law. Her necklace got stuck. Lies. She was just testing you. Is that true? I... She never tried to unlock her necklace. I have the camera footage to prove it. She was probably just trying to see if I was going to stand up for her. And you know what? I don't blame her for not trusting me when I have a father like you. Well, let's see how much you truly care about her. Oops. Now it looks like you both are breaking the law. I'll let you choose one person to live. It's okay. Just choose to save yourself. No, Dad. I'm not going to make that choice. Just end the system. You know I can't do that. Then go ahead and end me. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. Oh, Dad, don't. Please, please wait. You must learn, son, to never put a woman first in your relationship. What the? Real interesting philosophy you have about relationships. It's no wonder ours ended in divorce. Mom, what the hell do you think you're doing? Banning something that should actually be illegal. Goodbye, goon number one, and goodbye, goon number two. That's for taking my son away from me. Mom, you, you just killed Dad. I know, honey. It had to be done. Hey, sweetheart, open your eyes. We have to get out of here. Come on, you can trust me. Thanks. This way. Where are we? The room with the deactivation button. What? Well, what are you waiting for? Press it! No. Whoever presses the button dies. Mom, I'll press it. Jake, no, please. The system has to be stopped. You're right, but not by you. No, no. Mom! I love you. <laughs> mom? No, Mom. The system's down. She saved everyone. My parents, they're, they're both gone. Jake, I'm so sorry. <sighs> promise. Promise you won't ever leave me. Jake, I promise. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, she, she would have wanted us to be happy. We have to run. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah, are you okay? Yeah. From now on, we're gonna stick together, right? Always. I'm so glad I have you. Me too. There's something I've been meaning to do. Last, starting today, everyone will be able to play the game I Spy to earn money. So, who wants to play with me? I do. No, me. Why don't we give the quiet girl a shot? I spy with my little eye something green. Aw, oh, come on, that's so easy. She better get this right. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> settle down, settle down. It was the green apple. Sweetheart, you need to talk to your mom. It's really time that she gets you some glasses, okay? Hey, mom, the teacher told me today to ask you if I can get some glasses. I told you we can't afford them. If I had glasses, I could earn us money from this game. You can earn us money from the game without the glasses. You can see just fine. I got you a little something. You bought me glasses? They're just temporary until your mom can get you your exact prescription. This is so much better. I can actually see now. I hope it helps you play the game too. I spy with my little eye something yellow. That yellow daisy right there. You got it. Yes. I spy with my little eye something brown and white and covered in water. That doll. Dang, she's fast. You've been getting so much money ever since you got your glasses. I know. Amelia, where did you get glasses? My, um, my teacher got them for me. Really? Let me see them. Wasn't it so nice of her? Yes. I still can't believe that you broke my glasses. I told you they weren't your prescription. They would have ruined your eyes if you kept wearing them. They were supposed to be temporary until you bought me my own glasses. Don't you understand, Mom? I can't play I Spy if I can't see. Amelia, don't you get smart with me. And today, you'll tell everyone that you lost your glasses, and not that I broke them. Got it? 
Hey, shy girl, you ready? I spy with my little eye something blue. Hey, she doesn't have her glasses today. I made it so easy for her. It's right in front of her face. What is it? I don't know, okay? I can't see it. It's all blurry. Way to go, doofus. You made her lose money. Hey, it's not my fault she's blind. Amelia, can you please see me after class? Hey, so where's your glasses? I lost them. But Amelia, I just gave them to you. Okay, the truth is, my mom broke them, and now I lost all my money because they kept asking me to play the game, and I couldn't see anything. <sighs> I had a feeling something like this might have happened. Not to worry, I know how to get you seeing again. You do? Yes, I think I know a way where we can get you some contacts. You would do that for me? Of course. I, I really care for you, Amelia. But about your mother, there's something you need to know. I reported your mother to the police. She's gonna get so mad. Amelia, I'm so sorry, but she's clearly been neglecting you. Everything's gonna be fine, though. Just stay with me, I'll take care of you, and we'll go get you some contacts. Okay, the eye doctor is right down here. I'm sorry, I, I have to go back to my mom. No, please, there's more I need to explain. You have the right to remain silent. Mom. Well, if it isn't the little traitor. I swear, I, I didn't have anything to do with this. Ma'am, our records are showing that your daughter is adopted. What? Well, she didn't know that until now, officer, but yes, she is. I see. Sweetheart, please come with me. After further investigating your living conditions, we have concluded that your mother was neglecting you. I want to know who my real mother is. Are your new contacts working? Good. Then you can now play the game I spy, right? Yeah, but I don't see how that's going to explain anything. Please, let's just play. Fine. I spy with my little eye, someone with blonde hair and blue eyes. It's... It's Mrs. Smith. Hi, honey. I... I don't understand. What... What are you doing here? I'm here because now you're going to need a new parent. And remember how we took a blood test of you earlier? The results said... No. Honey, yes. I was only 16 when I had you. When I became your teacher, I just knew that you were my daughter. I should have never given you up. Will you please accept me back? Why don't we play the game? I spy, with my little eye, someone who... Who loves you very much and has always wanted a mom like you. Is it you? <laughs> Please, don't be anything too bad. That's an embarrassing curse. Don't you hate singing? Stop! <laughs> don't talk to me. Loser, lame old wannabe. What the? <laughs> wow, sissy, I feel sorry for you. Uh... Hey, girly, I'm new to this school. Just wanted to introduce myself. But I heard about your curse. I'm so sorry. I've got a bad feeling about you. What the actual freak was that? <laughs> Remind me not to sit next to her at lunch. So, are you down to be official? Like, boyfriend and girlfriend? I think I like this little life. What the heck? You just ruined the moment. This was serious. I'm out of here. Baby, come back. Aw, look, it's the girl who got cursed to sing. <laughs> Why you gotta be so rude? Maybe try some auto-tune. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hard knock life. Hi, Chloe. I mean, oh my god. Uh, what's it? Claire. Hi, Claire. Say my name, say my name. Sorry, honey, my mind is everywhere, but you're about to get a new curse. I hope you can stop singing. Don't bring me down. Don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh-oh. Don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh-oh. Okay, your makeup's done. I told you I could do it. Oh, I forgot to brush your teeth. Chloe, come help your sister brush your teeth, please. Mom, no, I think I'd rather die. <laughs> Mom said, come on. <laughs> Hurry up. Also, you're gonna get dress coded for that top. No, I'm not. Mom already talked to the teachers. This was the only top she could get on me without me moving my arms. Oh, Mom told me also someone's gonna be helping you do everything today. Whatever, can you just brush my teeth already? <laughs> okay, sissy, smile. Here comes the toothbrush. Mom said your crush is going to be the one helping you today. What? Hey, nice to meet you. My name's Drake. I'm going to be the one helping you take your test today. The teacher said you just tell me what answer you want me to write and I'll write it for you. Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay, and for the last multiple choice question? C? It's actually B, but hey, I won't tell anybody. Pretty sure you're going to get an A on this. Look, it's the girl who can't move her arms. <laughs> guys, come on, grab her. What the heck? Let go of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this isn't funny, guys. Let me out. Just open the door. Oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Later, loser. Hello, anyone? Hey, Claire, are you in there? Yes, Drake, it's me. I'm in here. Okay, I'm coming in. 
I can't believe they locked you in the janitor's closet. I know, but that's high school mean girls for you, I guess. Yeah, don't let them get to you. Let me help you have some food, and then I can drive you home. Okay. Hey, sissy, you can move your arms now. Yeah, finally. I'm still waiting for my next curse to load. Are you gonna tell Drake that you like him? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm finally just gonna tell him that I like... That you what? Uh-oh. Oh no, your curse, it's, it says you can't speak. Sorry, sissy. You're putting nuts in Drake's food, but he's allergic. I know, it's what he gets for ignoring me and paying attention to that random girl yesterday. Hey you, I was just about to eat my lunch. Do you want some? Oh! Why would you do that? I was saving you, Ashley. Put nuts in your food, Drake. What the hell, Ashley? Is that true? Drakey, no. I would literally never do that. Really? Then why do I see peanut shavings on the side of your bag? Uh... Liar. You can't prove anything. So, looks like we both kind of saved each other this week. <laughs> that was nice. I just wish there was a way we could end these curses, you know? Me too. Hey! My, my curse, curse is it's broken. broken! Happy birthday! Look what came in the mail! An egg? It's your very own magical creature! Wait, really? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now! Don't give me that attitude! You have to be patient. It will hatch on your 17th birthday. <clears throat> It hasn't hatched. No, not yet. I'm gonna take it to class with me. Please be careful. Don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. <laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm gonna need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered. I need to go back home. No, you need to come with- Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh no, you and your creature are in danger. What? Open up. That's it. I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. But what are you gonna do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now. And don't come out no matter what. I know you're here. Surprise! Found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. <laughs> Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Oh. Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. Oh. I'll help you. What is it doing? <gasps> Whoa, it... It healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just, I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? Mm. Shh, 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 I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. Mom, did you really steal me from dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not, and for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> you just... <sighs> Mom, what did you do to her? Pew, pew. You used your laser vision on her? Yes, I protect you. Thank you. Molly, is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be, before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home. <laughs> Please, don't be anything crazy. I hope you didn't get a bad curse, honey. 
All right. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, don't be suspicious. Don't be I told you to clean this room, honey. I'm just a baby. Just because you're the youngest doesn't mean you don't have to clean. I get you, baby. You and I, we're just not working out. I can buy myself flowers. I'm sorry. I get some joys to play What the hell are you doing? See, this is why I'm breaking up with you. Is that your report card, honey? Let me see. Hand it over. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I need to see it. Let me tell you something. Only talking in viral TikTok sounds was really annoying. Let's hope this new curse isn't as bad. Must do everything you're... Oh, come on. I can't believe how bad your report card was. I told you I was sorry. You're still grounded for two weeks. What? Come on. How is that even fair? That's enough. Not another word from you, young lady. Mm. Stop fooling mm. around and go to school. Why haven't you been talking at all? You've been super quiet. Mm. What? <laughs> huh? Can you just say something? Thank you so much. You are a literal lifesaver. That's such a cute squishmallow. You should just give it to me. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't mean to give you that. Uh, just let me keep it. Okay, you can keep it. Thank you, girly. I always wanted this one. Wait here. Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't move. Stay here. Um, Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't even move from this spot. Jillian? What are you doing? Move out of the way! Oh my gosh, thank you. So, you're the girl that's cursed to do whatever she's told. How do you know about that? Uh, you haven't seen the tweet? Jillian knew about my curse? Yeah, she tweeted it to the whole school. Now everyone's gonna try and take advantage of me. It's gonna be okay. Our curses only last for 24 hours. Tomorrow you'll get a new one. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, give me your lunch money. I know you can't resist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Give that back! Stand back and don't talk to me anymore. Slap yourself. Ah! Now, punch yourself. <laughs> Jillian, what is your problem? You should know. Don't listen to Jillian. Thanks. This whole curse thing just isn't... Want to give Jillian your curse permanently? What? Blake, it said I had the option to give my curse to Jillian permanently. Are you? I don't know. The option just disappeared. She did try to have you hit by a train. Yeah, but... Look, I'm just saying, after that, if I were you, I'd give that curse to her in a heartbeat. Hey. Jillian. Aw, is that a new Squishmallow? Give it to me. You give that back right now. Hmm. No, I don't think I will. What is your problem with me? I know you tried to kill me on those train tracks. Maybe because I don't want you around anymore. Why? Because Blake was my boyfriend and he broke up with me because he likes you. I can't help who Blake likes and doesn't like, and you should- Cover your mouth. I don't want to hear anything from you. Mm. Sorry, I can't understand. What did you just do? Give me back my Squishmallow. Now. No, why did I- I gave you my curse. Permanently. Wait, what? What can I say, Jillian? Karma? It's a real bit. I'm so nervous for who my soulmate is gonna be. Don't be. You're Santa's daughter. I'm sure you'll get someone just as jolly as you are. I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son, because he's super cute. <gasps> Who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny's son. Your soulmate's a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. I have to go now. Bye! Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I think your father wants to speak with you. He's in his office. Okay. Santa, your daughter's here to see you. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hi, Dad. So, have you found out who your soulmate is the son of? Nope. Hmm. Is that so? Emergency! Emergency! All the toy machines have been frozen! <laughs> Sounds like the work of Jack Frost. I'll be right back, Holly. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. Name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow. Pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Hey, I told you to stop following me. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No. Have you? Nope. 
And I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh, yeah. Things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Jared! Santa's looking for you. Ho, ho. There she is. We thought we heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. <laughs> Holly, we wanted to tell you the toy machines are fixed. Great. But now we need to know. Who your soulmate is the son of. Please tell me it's father time. I'm actually not feeling so well. I think I need fresh air. Oh no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I gonna do? Holly? Jared? Don't move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. That's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. You should be good to cross now. Give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you. I promise. Let me see your hand. Okay. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice. <gasps> Whoa. Hey. You all right? Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad. He thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah. It's because I haven't mastered my powers yet. You seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Thanks. Want to see something cool? Sure. It's okay. Try again. Oh, Jared, it's beautiful. You really are. <clears throat> I mean, it's beautiful, but you are too. What are you doing? Dad? We were just talking, Jack. It's Mr. Frost to you, and I know flirting when I see it. No son of mine will be with a Kringle. Stop! That isn't fair. Ow! Dad, let go! No, son. We're leaving, and he's never going to see you again. It's okay, Holly. Just go! Mom, Dad, why are you guys looking at me like that? Because, for the first time in 18 years... You, Holly, are on the naughty list. Okay, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who I got as a soulmate. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. What? <gasps> what? His whole family is cold-hearted. But Jared is different. Ho, ho. Frosts are nothing but bad news. And you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. That's right. You heard your mother. Go to your room. I have to save Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Holly, I could help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Actually, I could use your help. Sweet, because I've already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. You have? I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story. Plus, mm -hmm. I totally ship you guys. Winky. Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which has already been completed. But they never take afternoon naps. Well, let's just say I gave them some special milk and cookies. <gasps> Winky! Sorry, it was the only way, but come with me. I think Jared's in danger. This is the house, and I overheard Jack telling Jared he's going to lock him in the basement. Okay, you distract Jack, and I'll go save Jared. Deal. Happy birthday! Ready to find out your sweetheart? What's a sweetheart? It's your soulmate. It's who you're gonna love forever. Yeah. <gasps> Prince Licorice? What's wrong? Nothing, Lolly. We'll handle everything. Don't worry. Please, can I meet him? No, Lord Licorice is a very evil man, and I'm sure his son is no better. Exactly. But he's my sweetheart. Nope. The system must have made a mistake. Well, hello, my dear. Who are you? You don't know who I am? You really don't get out much, do you? My parents never let me leave the castle. I see. Well, I'm actually a friend of your father's, and I've brought you a gift. Is this taffy? Why, yes. This is my favorite. Try it. Good, isn't it? What's the matter? Mm. Too sticky? Sorry, princess, but I can't have you alerting the guards. I'm going to bring you to meet my son. Son, look who I've brought you. Is that... King Candy's daughter? Yes, indeed. Why are her hands tied? She's very feisty. But I'm sure she's happy to see you. Are you? Mm. Mm. Oh, she can't talk. I gave her the sticky taffy. Dad! There, now you're free. Drink this. It'll dissolve the taffy. It'll take a few seconds to work. 
Thanks. I'll give you two some alone time. It's really nice to meet you, Lolly. My name is Prince Licorice, but you can call me Luke. Well, I want to go home, Luke. Please stay. I want to get to know you. No, your dad creeps me out, and I don't think I can trust you guys. Lolly, I'm not like my dad, I swear. No, I want to go home, and that's an order. Fine, as you wish. Listen, it's going to be a long journey for you. You're not going to escort me back? No way. My dad would freak. So I have to walk through Candyland all alone? Get it. I don't need you. I can handle myself. Candyland is a very dangerous place, especially for a dainty princess like you. I am not dainty. Well, you sure are stubborn. Goodbye, Luke. Hey, we're supposed to be together. You're my sweetheart. Well, having me kidnapped wasn't very sweet. That wasn't my idea. Whatever. Just go. I don't even care anymore. Ugh. What is this stuff? Chocolate swamp? Uh-oh. Ugh, oh, this stuff is like quicksand. What do I do? Wait, I think my lollipop still has a little bit of magic in it, so maybe I can turn this into hard chocolate instead. <gasps> it's working. What are you doing in my swamp? Um, I was just leaving, sir. Hey! What is this place? Princess? Are you lost? Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, here, have some cotton candy. Thank you. This is so good. Glad you like it. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Perfect. You should spend the night here. Okay. <laughs> the king is going to pay a lot of money to get you back. Here, have some more. Let her go. Prince Licorice, what are you doing here? I'm saving her from you. That's my sweetheart. Isn't he handsome? Hand her over, or else... You think I'm handsome? How could I not think you're handsome? Just look at how big your muscles are. <laughs> how much cotton candy did you have? A lot. I'm sorry, Prince Licorice. I didn't realize she was your sweetheart. Please don't tell your father I did this. We won't have a problem as long as you let us leave. Let's go, Lolly. Bye. How you doing? Better. I didn't realize that the cotton candy made you loopy. Listen, I'm sorry for getting mad at you. You really didn't do anything wrong. Nah, you're good. I'm sorry, too. So you think I have big muscles, huh? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we should start walking back. There she is. Seize him. Arrest him, now! Get off of me! He didn't do anything wrong. Get her to safety. Luke! Mom, Dad, you have to let him go. He was an accomplice to your kidnapping. Even though he's your sweetheart, he has to pay a price for that. No, he was the one that rescued me. What? He did? Yes, I've been trying to tell you. He was the one who saved me from the Cotton Candy Fairy. Honey, we need to release him. Lord Licorice took my daughter. I say we keep his son. Dad, that isn't the way. She's right. You two need to make amends. Thanks for getting me released. Of course. It's the least I can do. I'm really happy our parents are getting along now. I'm so glad, too. I need to ask you something. Lolly, will you make me the happiest man in Candyland and marry me? Yes. Everyone, we're engaged. Aw, congrats, sweetheart. Just look at that ring. Congratulations. Lolly, I couldn't have asked for a better soulmate. Me either. Please wish for me to pass my test. What? No. Leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch? Sure. You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me? No, I mean, I wanted to... Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. Can you please wish for- Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm. I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes. Get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited. Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish... Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? 
Great, now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. Not gonna happen. Oh yes it is, I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh, okay, come here. No way, I just got a billion dollars in my account. Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice, now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. All right, you can have a little break. Come on. You know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I going to do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst, Melanie. Grayson, what are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson. Just repeat after me. I wish- I wish- For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. <gasps> that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. Get adopted by a fireman or a billionaire? I think we should go with fireman because he's going to keep us safe. Yeah, I think so too. No billionaire. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. So, what are your names? I'm Margo. I'm Edith. And this is Agnes. Nice to meet you. Well, this is my home. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. This place is kind of creepy. It is. <sighs> There's nothing to watch. Did you hear that? I did. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, I think it's coming from over there. <sighs> there was definitely someone down there. I told you, Agnes, we should have picked the fireman. Excuse me, I need to speak with you. Me? Yes, you. I have a secret that you need to know. So, what's your secret? I have a secret lab, and I know you girls saw it. No, we didn't. Don't lie to me. I have cameras everywhere. I saw you. Creepy much? Okay, maybe we did. Well, I can't have you telling anyone about the lab. Uh-huh. Sounds like I should be calling CPS. No, I need you girls to help me with my plan. And what plan is that exactly? Go get your sisters and follow me. Whoa, what is that? Is that a laser? No. Who are you? I'm the doctor you saw in the lab. Well, what is this thing? My greatest achievement, a shrink ray. And we need human subjects to test it on. The doctor and I created this together. Wait we... a minute, so you're telling us that the only reason you adopted us was so you could use us as your lab rats? Not cool, dude. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that. Actually, we weren't asking. Run! Wait, wait! We don't want to try out your machine. Yeah! It's okay, girls. You don't have to try it if you don't want to. We don't? No. But, sir, we only adopted them because- That's enough, doctor. We're not forcing them to do anything. Thanks for taking us to get food, sir. Girls, please, you don't have to call me sir. Can we call you dad? Agnes? I was just asking. You can call me whatever you like. I feel like Darren likes us. I like him too. But that doctor, she creeps me out. Yeah, same. Good night, girls. Good, Good night, night, dad. Dad? <laughs> Hello. I need you to come with me. It's time for you to try out the machine. Shh. Would you stop knocking on the glass? You're not getting out of there. Now watch this. I'm going to demonstrate the shrink ray. Isn't that amazing? Now, to test it on you. Margo! Let her go! No, guys, run! Come here, girls. Stop! Doctor, what is going on? Dad, help us! Oh, be quiet. He's not even your real dad. Hey! That's enough. Let's see how you like it. Close your eyes, girls. No! What do you know? It works. Gary, you can't do this! <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for saving us. Of course. And I destroyed the machine. What? what? 
But I thought you said it was your greatest achievement. Actually, no girls. My greatest achievement was adopting you. Honey, plug yourself in. I will. Okay, relax. Where even is my charger? Eh, I'll find it later. Mom, I'm at 1% and I can't find my charger anywhere. Haley, I told you! I don't feel so good. No, hang on. That was the third time this has happened this month. I know, I'm sorry. Thanks for saving me. Honey, I've been working on a new invention. I want to show it to you. A bracelet? It's a portable charger that allows you to never run out of battery. It's finally ready for use. Really? Yep, I made it just for you. But Haley, don't tell anyone what it does, okay? Nice bracelet. Thanks. Do I know you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Henry Powers. How did you do that? Huh, I was about to ask you the same thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to come with me. I'm not coming with you anywhere. Oh, yes you are. What? How are you? How did you take my power? Ugh, I need that bracelet. Mom, we have a problem. What, honey? Well, there was like this crazy guy at school, and he had electric powers or something, and he was sucking the battery life from me. What? He did? Yeah, but don't worry, your bracelet protected me. That must have been a power sucker. A what? There are people who recharge themselves by taking other people's battery life. Do you know where he went? No, I ran away, and then he... What was that? I think he might have followed you. Go, hide. No, I'm not gonna leave you by yourself. You can't hide from me. Leave us alone. Hand over the bracelet. Not a chance. Okay, then. Guess I'll drain her battery. Mom! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna drain all her battery life. No, okay, you can have it. Don't. If he gets that, he'll be unstoppable. She's at 2%. It's her or the bracelet. I choose her. Take it. Finally. Now let her go. All right, a deal's a deal. <gasps> Mom? Mom, give me your hand. Not so fast. I'm not done with you, kid. I decided I want more power. What? Leave her alone. I'm taking her battery life. This is for being a little brat. Stop! Mom, go plug yourself in. Otherwise, your battery's gonna die, too. Say goodbye to your daughter. No! Uh, uh. Haley, grab the bracelet. No! Why, you little... Uh. Give me that back! No! My power! Oh, You did it. Mom, you're at one percent. Here, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm so proud of you, honey. Come here. You think I could use your house really quick to charge my phone? Yeah, sure. Wait, is that a blue mark? Sorry, can't help you. Please, I couldn't afford to pay my electricity bill this month, and all the public charging stations are for rich people. I miss the part where that's my problem. Get out of here. Hey, isn't that the girl whose parents, like, died at sea? Yeah. Yikes. They're not dead, they're gonna come back. Oh, really? Yeah, and when they do, they're gonna bring back the lost pirate's treasure. <laughs> my mark is gonna change. Well, be sure to call me when your zombie parents come back from the dead. <laughs> hey, don't listen to them. You're gonna be okay. It's easy for you to say that. Your whole family has yellow marks. Look, just because we're rich doesn't mean we're... Mail delivery. Kayla, what's that? It's a card, and it's signed by my parents saying that they want me to meet them at the Golden Ball. Sounds like a trap. No, I know my parents' handwriting. Only yellow marks can get into the ball. Well, then I'll just have to change my mark. Wait, what? You are so lucky I have yellow paint. So, uh, yeah, we just gotta trust the process on this. Dude, hurry up, I hear cops. I'm going as fast as I can. Well then, I'll just have to change my mark. Wait, what? You are so lucky I have yellow paint. So, uh, yeah, we just gotta trust the process on this. Dude, hurry up, I hear cops. I'm going as fast as I can. Hey, you two, let's see your marks. Huh, have you guys seen any blue marks? No, sir. No. Good, because they're not allowed around this side of town, so if you see any, let us know. Will do, yes. Let's go. That was close. What did your parents' letter say again? It said for me to meet them at the Golden Ball and to wait for a signal. Kayla, this really sounds like a trap. And you can't wear that to the ball. Look, you gotta dress like a yellow mark. You gotta wear a fancy dress. Well, I might have this mark, but I don't have money. But I do. Come on, we're going shopping. Come on, Kayla, you're about to have your Cinderella dress moment. Hey, you. Let me see your mark. 
Come here. Let me see it closer. Uh, officer, is everything okay? Hey, you. Let me see your mark. Come here. Let me see it closer. Uh, officer, is everything okay? There's been a lot of people faking their marks, and hers looks... <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Come on, let's go. So what do you think? Whoa, I, I love it. Green really suits you. If this thing is called the Golden Ball, then why am I dressed like a flower? <laughs> because this year's theme is spring. Wow, this place is really fancy, huh? Man, I am starving right now. Same. Dang, look at all the desserts. You see the cupcakes? Well, what are we waiting for? Come on! Oh, these desserts are so good. Hey, aren't those your favorite flowers? Tulips, right? This is the sign. Wait, like from your parents? Is that a note? Kayla, this is... Freeze. Both of you are coming with us. Hey, aren't those your favorite flowers? Tulips, right? This is the sign. Wait, like from your parents? Is that a note? Kayla, this is... Freeze. Both of you are coming with us. Get off of me! Kayla! Well, look who we have here. <sighs> Mom? Mrs. Stewart? Mom, what is going on? I'm getting us the treasure, honey. They're gonna bring back the lost pirate's treasure. <laughs> My parents found the treasure. And they're alive. Why, look, you changed your mark, didn't you? That's against the law. Now let's see that note. You give that back. Now what does this say, Delilah? Do you know what that means? No. She's definitely lying. Give her the truth serum. Jake? Mom, stop it. What does Delilah mean? It was the name of my old treehouse that my parents made for me in the woods. Interesting. And do you know where it is? Yes. Perfect. Okay, let her go. Kayla, you're going to be taking us all to the treehouse. Now let's go. It's up there. The treasure has to be in that treehouse. Jake, climb up there and look for the treasure. No. You won't see Kayla again until you do. Take her away. Jake! Kayla! You won't see Kayla again until you climb up into that treehouse and get me that treasure. Take her away. No, Jake! Let's go. Kayla! Let me see that mark of yours. Why did you take a picture? So I could show the cops how you faked your mark when I turn you in. Let's get this yellow paint off. There. Now you're back to being poor. <laughs> Alright, sit down. Don't move from that spot unless I say so. Why are you helping Mrs. Stewart? I have my reasons. Just mind your own business. She's promising you a lot of the pirate's treasure, isn't she? Maybe she is. What's it to you? I could get you a lot more gold than what she's promising. How? Because I lied about the note from my parents. Delilah wasn't the name of my treehouse. What? Now what does this say, Delilah? Do you know what that means? It was the name of my old treehouse that my parents made for me in the woods. Who names a treehouse? Come on. Delilah is the name of my car. Really? Mm-hmm. And if you take me to it right now, I'll give you half of whatever treasures we find in there. What if your parents try and ambush us? I'm their daughter. They're not going to ambush us if I'm there. I don't know. We are running out of time before they figure out that there is no treasure in that treehouse. Do we have a deal or not? All right, all right. You got yourself a deal, kid. That's my car. I see something shiny in there. Huh. You gotta be kidding me. This is the golden bass. It's worth like five million. So I'll be taking it. We had a deal. You know what they say. Deals change. Oh. Oh. And where do you think you're going? You found it. Let me see it. Give it to me, you little brat, or I'll... Oh. <sighs> Honey? Mom? Dad? Hello. We, we missed you. you. You got our note. We promised you we'd find that treasure. I just knew you guys would come back. Kayla! Jake! Uh, are you okay? Oh my gosh, your parents. Whoa, is that the treasure? So, I just wanted to congratulate you on getting your mark changed, for real, this time. <laughs> Thanks. Also, I know you're like a rich girl now, and my mom's in jail, and I just don't want things to be awkward between us, because I know we're friends, Jake, but... Jake, stop talking. You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No. No men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's going to adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're going to come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're gonna have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? 
Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that- Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about- No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she- Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! What is she- Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! How did she do she that? She has powers, oh my god. <sighs> mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Um, Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry, we're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa. Oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, all right. She wants us to move. <laughs> wow. I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Bad, bad man. Mean. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. Do you want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No, I fight. I kill him. <gasps> hey, stop! You can't do that! I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey, kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie. Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because she didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out there? Nothing. Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. Uh, no. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, mm -hmm. honey. Sweetheart. Sorry, Laura. She's... Oh, 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 you broke my hand, you little... Oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find... What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White. Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey. Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. They'll look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out for later. Get the glasses quickly. Bad kid. Hurry, doctor. Put them on. No. No. 
That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good, please. No, you are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, get uh, away from her! Uh, Dan, stop it! You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom! Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now. And you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... strong. That's right, honey. Get him! No, stop! What is going- You dead. Oh my gosh, Mom! I'm okay, honey. Mom! Sissy, you find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey, hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go- <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! He dead. Oh my! Mom, it kinda looks like he's- <gasps> Oh, he's alive! There's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my! I don't know, it kinda looks like he's still- <gasps> He's alive. Menere, Sen. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana! No. Bien dare. Kill. Ma. Sa. Family. Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help? Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt. Sissy, it's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. <laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See, they nice. Fine, we shall go with them. Yay, there's the exit. <sighs> I can't open. I still weak. Get back. <laughs> He just ripped off the door. How did he? He very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way? I am hungry. Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday. Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay. What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Wanna ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, oh, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You never to any American Girl stuff. Pick a color. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you can have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No pomegranates. No pomegranates. No! No, 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 no! No pomegranates! What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <coughs> see? You see? <coughs> Hold her! No, no, no! Oh. Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Aw, oh, jeez, thanks. I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. 
Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Are you guys almost done shopping yet? Can you, like, stop complaining? Ocean, do you like this dress? Yeah, it's cute, I guess. Okay, cool, because you're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Your total is 5,200 words. That is an insane amount of words. So what? It doesn't affect you. We're hungry. Okay, then go buy yourself your own food. I am done paying for you guys. You brat! How dare you! You know we don't have a lot of words. Well, maybe if you guys didn't talk so much, that wouldn't be a problem. <gasps> That's it. I'm calling Daddy. Oh my gosh, he's so gonna yell at her. No, wait. What do you guys want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we thought. Look! The prince! Let's go talk to him! Are we allowed to? Are we allowed to? Of course you're not. Just stay here. I swear, she is so annoying. Excuse me, but what if I told you I could help you meet the prince? And all I need are your words. You want me to give you my infinite words? Mm-hmm. But I'll get your stepsisters to leave you alone, too. You could do that? How? Through magic, of course. Just look at how hot the prince is. I mean, don't you want him? He is very handsome, but I just can't give up my words. I don't even know if I can trust you. My dear, I live to help others. In fact, I'll even give you a chance to gain your words back. All you have to do is get the prince to fall in love with you. But without my words, how will I get him to- You have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. <laughs> Ocean, we want more food. I don't have all day. Okay, you have a deal. Excellent choice. Perfect. And one more thing about the deal. <laughs> you have 48 hours to get the prince to fall in love with you, or your words are mine forever. Ocean, we're hungry. Let's go. Forget. Why are you talking to that weird girl and her grandma? I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here. Grandma? Why? I ought to turn them into clams. Let's just get you to the prince. The prince will be here any minute. Good luck. Your time starts now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Do you need some help? You don't have any words left, do you? You must be lost. It's not safe out here. Please, come with me. Is that better? What's your name? Oh, right. Uh, wait here. Ocean. That's a beautiful name. I wish I could give you words, but my father, he made it against the... Son, who are you talking to? Happy birthday! Ready to find out your sweetheart? What's a sweetheart? It's your soulmate. It's who you're gonna love forever. <gasps> Prince Licorice? What's wrong? Nothing, Lolly. We'll handle everything. Don't worry. Please, can I meet him? No, Lord Licorice is a very evil man, and I'm sure his son is no better. Exactly. But he's my sweetheart. Nope. The system must have made a mistake. Well, hello, my dear. Who are you? You don't know who I am? You really don't get out much, do you? My parents never let me leave the castle. I see. Well, I'm actually a friend of your father's, and I've brought you a gift. Is this taffy? Why, yes. This is my favorite. Try it. Good, isn't it? What's the matter? Mm. Too sticky? Sorry, princess, but I can't have you alerting the guards. I'm going to bring you to meet my son. Son, look who I've brought you. Is that? King Candy's daughter? Yes, indeed. Why are her hands tied? She's very feisty. But I'm sure she's happy to see you. Are you? Mm. Mm. Oh, she can't talk. I gave her the sticky taffy. Dad. There, now you're free. Drink this. It'll dissolve the taffy. It'll take a few seconds to work. Thanks. I'll give you two some alone time. It's really nice to meet you, Lolly. My name is Prince Licorice, but you can call me Luke. Well, I want to go home, Luke. Please stay. I want to get to know you. No, your dad creeps me out, and I don't think I can trust you guys. 
Lolly, I'm not like my dad, I swear. No, I want to go home, and that's an order. Fine, as you wish. Listen, it's going to be a long journey for you. You're not going to escort me back? No way. My dad would freak. So I have to walk through Candyland all alone? Get it. I don't need you. I can handle myself. Candyland is a very dangerous place, especially for a dainty princess like you. I am not dainty. Well, you sure are stubborn. Goodbye, Luke. Hey, we're supposed to be together. You're my sweetheart. Well, having me kidnapped wasn't very sweet. That wasn't my idea. Whatever. Just go. I don't even care anymore. Ugh! What is this stuff? Chocolate swamp? Uh-oh. Oh, this stuff is like quicksand. What do I do? Wait, I think my lollipop still has a little bit of magic in it, so maybe I can turn this into hard chocolate instead. <gasps> it's working. What are you doing in my swamp? Um, I was just leaving, sir. Hey! What is this place? Princess? Are you lost? Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, here, have some cotton candy. Thank you. This is so good. Glad you like it. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Perfect. You should spend the night here. Okay. <laughs> the king is going to pay a lot of money to get you back. Here, have some more. Let her go. Prince Licorice, what are you doing here? I'm saving her from you. That's my sweetheart. Isn't he handsome? Hand her over or else you think I'm handsome? How could I not think you're handsome? Just look at how big your muscles are. <laughs> how much cotton candy did you have? A lot. I'm sorry, Prince Licorice. I didn't realize she was your sweetheart. Please don't tell your father I did this. We won't have a problem as long as you let us leave. Let's go, Lolly. Bye. How you doing? Better. I didn't realize that the cotton candy made you loopy. Listen, I'm sorry for getting mad at you. You really didn't do anything wrong. Nah, you're good. I'm sorry, too. So you think I have big muscles, huh? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we should start walking back. There she is! Seize him! Arrest him, now! Get off of me! He didn't do anything wrong. Get her to safety. Luke! Mom, Dad, you have to let him go. He was an accomplice to your kidnapping. Even though he's your sweetheart, he has to pay a price for that. No, he was the one that rescued me. What? He did. Yes, I've been trying to tell you. He was the one who saved me from the cotton candy fairy. Honey, we need to release him. Lord Licorice took my daughter. I say we keep his son. Dad, that isn't the way. She's right. You two need to make amends. Thanks for getting me released. Of course. It's the least I can do. I'm really happy our parents are getting along now. I'm so glad too. I need to ask you something. Lolly, will you make me the happiest man in Candyland and... Marry me? Yes. Everyone, we're engaged. Aw, oh, congrats, sweetheart. Just look at that ring. Congratulations. Lolly, I couldn't have asked for a better soulmate. Me either. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm going to go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot, but... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, <laughs> there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Mate. Oh, no, he did it. Mate.
Oh, no, he didn't. I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. Oh, he is so dead. Honey, mom, oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate... Shh, enough chit-chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom... Uh-uh, get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna... May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but... There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to... Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and... Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom... There you are. You're late. Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful. So I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right. Come on. Let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. <laughs> Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. <sighs> Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay, here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? At least that's a little bit more normal. Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula, and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zach Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... Oh! You don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. Mommy, remind me again why we have to wear these bracelets. Sweetheart, I told you. It's so the government can make sure that we don't use our superpowers. So I can't even use my superpowers just for a few minutes? No, superpowers have been banned. If you use them, they will take you away. Do you want that? No. Then you must never use your powers. Watch your sister, please. Okay, Mommy. They even gave her a bracelet, but... We don't get our powers until we turn five. Peekaboo! How are you doing that? Powers detected. Sissy, stop! FBI, open up. Please, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you know the rules. No using powers. She's gonna have to come with us. No, not my baby. You let her go! You better stand down, kid, or you'll be coming with us, too. No! 
Hey, you, freeze. Give me your purse. You don't scare us. My dad here has super strength and is bulletproof. Oh, really? Well, I wasn't talking to him. I was talking to you. How about I blow a hole right through your- Honey, you can't use your superpowers. He's right. But, Dad- It's not worth it. I already lost one daughter. I won't lose you. Yeah, you don't want the government to take you. Now give me the purse. Yes. Later, soups. <laughs> Girl, I think I found a way to disable our bracelets. You did? Yeah. Shh. Let me see your wrist. Are you sure about this? Yeah, totally. We can't keep living without using our superpowers. You know what, you're right. Do it. Okay, done. Think it worked? There's only one way to find out. I'm gonna use a power I haven't used in a while. Powers detected. Tricked you. What? Ashley, you realize if you don't get to a thousand likes by the end of the year, you're not meeting your soulmate. Yes, I'm well aware of that, thank you. She doesn't need a soulmate to be happy anyways. You guys are literally so pathetic. <laughs> hey Ashley, do you think I could take a picture of your notes real quick? Uh, yeah, for sure, here. Sweet, thanks. Let me give you a like. Thank you. <laughs> ha, she thought. <laughs> Just ignore them. How can I? I mean, at least you have 20 likes. I have two. And one of them's from you, and the other one's from my mom. Just face it, Chase, nobody likes me. I'm never gonna find my soulmate. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Um, who are you? My name is Lindsay, and I'm here to make you the most liked girl in school. Here it goes. Hey, you feeling all right? Not really. Hold on to me. I'm gonna take you to the hospital. We were able to restore her likes, and we gave her a few extra ones, too. Hey, you're up. Chase? Where's Lindsay? Don't worry. She's been arrested. Where's my mom? She's on her way. Oh, and, uh, here. The cops found it on Lindsay. Thanks. Listen, Chase, I'm so sorry for the things that I said to you. You were right about Dylan. I don't know why I ever thought that he would like me. Hey, that was his loss. Any guy would be lucky to have you. Speaking of which, now you can meet your soulmate. We're soulmates, huh? Ash, I've been waiting to do this for a long time. You want to make me the most liked girl in school? Yep, that's right. Why? Well, in all honesty, honey, your mom sent me. She did? Yeah, she's kind of worried about your social life. But don't worry, I'm going to take care of everything. So, if we take a look at this score sheet, you can see that you and your friend currently rank, um, at the very bottom. Social outcast? Yes, I'm afraid so. But don't worry, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, we're gonna need to start with a full makeover. She's fine the way she is. Mm-hmm, says the social outcast. Hey, that's not very- We're wasting time. Follow me. Okay, it's time to make you look irresistible. She's all done. Whoa, you look, uh... Gorgeous? Yeah. Thanks. Love your outfit. Whoa, looks like somebody's got their fourth like. Time for the next step. We can only get likes in person, so we gotta go somewhere crowded. Um, I mean, we could go to the mall. Yes, great idea. Ashley, smile. If you want likes, you gotta be friendly. Go say hi. Uh, hi. I like your outfit. Thanks. I like yours, too. Oh, hey, buddy. Um, I think you might have dropped this. Thank you. Mommy, look what she found. Oh, my gosh. Here, take a like. Oh, thank you. And just like that, she's up to 25 likes. Whoa, Ash. You uh, got more likes than me now. Oh, this is nothing. You need to be going out all the time, okay? Try to get invited to a party. Hey, Dylan. Um, are you throwing a party this weekend? Uh-huh. You want to come? Can I? Yeah, I mean, the party's for 25 likes and up, so you're good. Can Chase come too? No way! No social rejects allowed. Oh, and wear something red. That's the theme. Chase, I don't feel right going to this party without you. It's fine. Just go. Can't you just get five more likes and then we can go together? Nah, you'll probably have more fun without me anyways. That's not true. But maybe you'll change your mind later. Cute dress, Ashley. Thanks. I like your dress. Thanks, Dylan, but why isn't anyone else wearing red? I thought that was the theme. Ah, uh, yeah, I kind of lied. I just wanted to see you in red. Okay. Ash, look, it's because I have a crush on you. Really? Yeah. Well, why haven't you ever said anything before? 
I figured you and Chase were a thing. What? Oh, no. Um, me and him, we're just, we're just friends. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, then. In that case, come with me. Okay. Finally, we're alone. But don't you want to go party? No. I just want to be right next to you. You definitely deserve a like. I am so proud of you. Hooking up with the captain of the football team? <sighs> Listen, we're not official just yet. Uh-huh. You guys kissed, right? Yeah. Well, then you might as well be official. Oh, it sounds like Chase is a little jealous. I'm not jealous. I just don't trust that guy. <laughs> Whatever you say. Hey, we still on for movie night? Oh, actually, Dylan's taking me to see a movie. But we always do movie night on Friday. It's like our tradition. Traditions change, bro. Hey, babe. Hey. She's got a boyfriend now, dude. It's time for you to move on. Right. Guess I'll see you later, Ash. Hey, Ashley. Whoa, did you just give me a like? Uh, yeah, you look so cute. But don't you hate me? Ashley, that was before you had so many likes. You're one of us now. We're almost at a thousand likes. Yeah, because you've had me going out to crowded places every day for a month now. Can't I take a break? No, your mom's coming back soon. Don't you want to surprise her with your soulmate? Yeah, I guess. I have a good feeling it's going to be Dylan. I feel really bad for Chase. I barely even talk to him anymore. He's a social reject. Please don't call him that. Forget about Chase, Ashley. We need to focus on your likes. Now, come on. We're going to the mall again. Ash, what are you doing here? I wanted to see you. Where's Dylan? He's at practice. Wait a minute. Let me see that hat. Did you get a haircut and shave a little bit? Uh, yeah. I just figured it was time for a change. Well, you look, um, you look really nice. Thanks. Listen, Ash, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. I... Oh, it's Dylan. He needs my help. Ash, I don't think Dylan is a good guy for you. Excuse me? Dylan is using you. He doesn't care about you. Oh my gosh. Lindsay was right. You are jealous. Would you stop being so conceited and just listen to me? Just because you have over 900 likes doesn't mean everybody likes you. I'm just trying to watch out for you. Well, stop it, because I don't need you to. You don't know what's best for me. Oh, and Lindsay does, huh? Yeah, look how many likes she got me. I don't give a shit about your likes, Ash, or your fake friends. Well, at least I have friends. Do whatever you want. I'm done. <laughs> well, then I guess I'll take my life back, too. Dylan? Oh my gosh, babe, our plan is working out so good. Yeah, being her fake boyfriend got me so many likes, so you two were using me? <gasps> Ash, listen, I... Save it. We're over. Mom, it's me. I know you sent Lindsay to help me, but I don't care about my likes anymore. Honey, what are you talking about? I don't know anyone named Lindsay. Wait, what do you mean you don't know Lindsay? I didn't send her. Honey, I'm about to go into my meeting. No, Mom. Hey, did you lose likes? Yeah, from Dylan, Chase, and Pepper. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Because I want to know who you are. What do you mean? I talked to my mom, and she said she didn't send you. Damn it, you weren't supposed to find out yet. Ugh, oh, I guess I might as well come clean. I'm here to steal your likes. What? Mm-hmm. You see, I found a way to hack the system. I steal people's likes, and then I sell them. And you know, most people don't even make it to 1,000, so you really impressed me, Ashley. I'm calling the cops. Put that down. Okay. Stop moving and sit still. System activated. This is going to be fun. <laughs> yes, it's working. How are you even doing this? I just connect my technology to the like chip in the back of your neck and voila. Isn't it wonderful? Ugh. Ugh, this is taking forever. Please stop. I don't feel good. Mmm, that's probably a side effect from the machine. What happens when I hit zero? You'll become a permanent social reject, and there's a small chance that you could die. What? Yeah, that's what happened to the last person. Ash? Please? Yeah, what the hell's going on? I'm stealing her likes, and while I'm at it, maybe I'll steal yours too. I knew you were a little fake. You let her go right now. Hmm, no thanks. I mean, what are you gonna do, you pathetic little piece of- Ugh. You were saying? 
Ash, if I unplug this machine, you could lose all your likes permanently. I don't care. Just unplug it. She said if I hit zero, I could die. Learn a fact about every item you touch, or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. Hey, Mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please, just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> you know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah, do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying, um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. Uh, we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. 
You look amazing. You can't tell. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go. But... I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... Don't take too long to come back, okay? Hey, Mom, what's this? It shows you what your soulmate is up to, honey. What does it say? It says that, um, he wants to use the bathroom. Not funny. You have to give him permission. I'm sorry, okay? I hope he hasn't been waiting too long. He's asking for permission to go to school now? That could mean that we're the same age and maybe we'll even bump into each other. What's he been wanting to do? Just the normal stuff, like go to school and use the bathroom. Ooh, what's he asking permission for? Um, he wants to go on a hike. He keeps asking me this over and over again. You are not kidnapping someone. Stop that. Were you just talking about your soulmate? <laughs> no. That's it. No more interacting with him. But mom... I said no. He sounds dangerous. This isn't fair. He was probably just kidding. He wants to come inside my house? I mean, sure. Wait, how does he know where I live? Happy birthday! Look what came in the mail! An egg? It's your very own magical creature! Wait, really? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now! Don't give me that attitude! You have to be patient. It will hatch on your 17th birthday. <clears throat> It hasn't hatched. No, not yet. I'm gonna take it to class with me. Please be careful. Don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. <laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. <laughs> That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm gonna need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered. I need to go back home. No, you need to come with- Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh no, you and your creature are in danger. What? Open up. That's him. I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. But what are you gonna do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now. And don't come out no matter what. I know you're here. Surprise! Found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. <laughs> Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Oh. Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. <laughs> what is it doing? <gasps> Whoa, it, it healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just, I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? Shh, shh, shh. I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. Mom, did you really steal me from Dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not, and for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> you just... <sighs> Mom, what did you do to her? You too. You used your laser vision on her? Yes, I protect you. Thank you. Molly, is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be, before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home. <laughs> come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. 
Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid, because family members, they are worth a lot more than money. Right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> honey. What? You're sweating. No. You okay? Um, no. I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm gonna go wash my face. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, shit. I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No. You're a hider. I can explain. You little liar. I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention. The game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I gonna do? Shh, listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker. You're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her! Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because... Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like... like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them. You run. No, I'm not gonna leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go! <laughs> Ellie, found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a Hyder? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. Want to end the game? It'll be okay. No, please. Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone. You pick the next game. A million dollars or a hair clip? Come on. Whoops, well, sorry. Phoebe, do you know what you just made me do? I didn't mean to. Mom said it's your turn to take out the trash. No, she didn't. She said it was your turn five minutes ago. Hey, wait. How do you know that? You weren't there. Uh, I don't know. I just... I just do, okay? I don't think I can make it to your party. What? Why not? You always come to my parties. Sorry, but my mom's not letting me go. You sure that's the real reason why? 
Uh, yeah. Anyways, I gotta get to calculus. Hey, I think this clip is telling you the truth about people. You wait for a date, babe? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Why? Why? Something came up at work and it's urgent. Babe, you work at a computer factory. How urgent can it be? I'll explain later. Don't worry. I gotta go. So all this time he's been lying to me about his job. I have to follow him. Did you get the codes? Yes, sir. I have them on my phone. And you're sure you weren't followed? Not that I know of. Excellent. Because I have another job for you. Hey, who the hell are you? Um, I'm... That's it. Get over uh... here. Hey, boss. Look who I found spying on us. No, I, I wasn't spying on you guys, I swear. Who do you work for? Who sends you? No, nobody. Hey, stop. She's with me. You know this girl? Yeah, I do. She's... She's my girlfriend. Jack, I am so sorry that I followed you. I don't have any wires on me or... Quiet. I told you. No attachments, Jack. She was just a cover, sir. Good. Then you shouldn't have any problem with me getting rid of her. Sorry, sweetheart. But I can't have you running away and crying to the cops. You're not gonna shoot me. Why is that? Because... You can't. You have no idea what I'm capable of. What? It's jammed. Okay. Well, do you drop your weapons now? Really, Jack? You're gonna turn against me, huh? Sorry, sir. Can't let you kill her. Now slide those weapons over to me. Alright, let's go. You have gotta regret this. So when were you gonna tell me that you're a criminal? How did you know his gun was jammed? No, I asked you first. Answer me. Listen, there's no time to explain. We have to change our appearance. They're going to come looking for us soon. Take this cash. You're going to run to that store quick and go buy us new clothes. Okay, and what are you going to do? I'm going to stay here and keep an eye out for anyone looking suspicious. Okay, fine. I really like your hair clip. Thank you. Are you here all by yourself? Happened. There was a woman in there who was acting really suspicious. I think they're on to us. We we need to get out of here now. Okay, get in. Jack, this is in our car. I know. Now let's go. I still can't believe you hotwired someone's car. I had to. My boss knows my license plate. He could attract us. I just hope this hair clip still works if I'm not wearing it in my hair. Huh? Look, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but this hair clip is magic. It tells me the truth about people. It's how I knew your boss's gun was jammed, and it's why I followed you to work. You're joking, right? No, and honestly, it's really been coming in handy, so... What's wrong? My boss. He's here. Well, what do we do? He's headed right towards us. Follow me. I think we lost him. Yeah, for now. Jack, I can't keep doing this, okay? We've been on the run all night. I'm tired. I think I know a place where we can crash for the night. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry for all this. You broke my trust, Jack. I know. And I'm going to do everything I can to gain it back. I promise I'll fix this. Now get some sleep. We'll talk more about this magic hair clip in the morning. Okay. Looking for Jack? You really thought you could get away from us? Where is he? He won't be able to save you this time. Get over there. I want to make a deal with you. You come work for me, and in return, I'll let Jack go free. I don't think I can trust you guys. It's not really your choice. Unless you want to see your boyfriend dead. You're not going to kill Jack because you're his parents. What? How did you... How does she know that? I don't know. She... She must be a spy. Yeah, I kind of realize that now. Who are you talking to? She's obviously talking to someone on comms. No, I'm not talking to anyone, I swear. I bet her hair clip is a camera. No. No, wait. Give that back. Quiet. There's no camera or microphone, but it is a cute hair clip. No. What the? This thing just spoke to me. What'd it say? It said she's feeling worried. How could the hair clip know that she's nervous? You know, I've heard about things like this. I think this hair clip might be magic. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. No, it all makes sense now. That's how she knew my gun was jammed. And how she knew to avoid me at the store. Make this thing tell us the code to the- It doesn't work like that. Sure it does. You're just holding out on us. You'll make this clip tell us everything we want to know, or else we're gonna- Hey! 
That's enough. Did you just... No, don't worry. They were just trying darts. Now let's get you free. I believe this belongs to you. Thanks. So, um, what now? You have to turn my family and I in. What? Jack, I'm not going to turn you in. I... It's okay. I'm sure your parents have reported you missing by now. It was going to happen to me eventually, so just make the call. I'm going to find a way to bail you out, okay? I can't believe I'm using my birthday money to bail your boyfriend out of jail. Hey, you owe me big time, remember? Yeah, yeah. Jack! Brooke, how did you bail me out? My sister gave me her birthday money. Wait, where's your hair clip? Well, that was the deal. I gave her my hair clip, and she gave me her money. You did that for me? Brooke, I can't thank you enough. Well, hey, I don't need to use it with you, because I know you'll always be truthful with me. I promise you, I will. I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi. My name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> you ran away? Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. All right, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh, I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what, I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but... Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and... Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. <sighs> I'm sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, but, Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please. Then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her, tell her that you're my real mommy. I... Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you. And this is going to sound kind of crazy. But I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption. And how old is Emily? She's five. I see. And it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on <sighs> her face? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm i just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh, no. I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well, yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine, I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to her test, it looks like Emily is not your biological <gasps> child. Are you, are you sure? Yes, ma'am, I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's, it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid, and I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? 
is just ridiculous. Where are they? That look like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure. And we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. Sorry. Right. It's the foster mom. But where's Emily? Hey. Ah, you scared me. Good. Now where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll... Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Let go of me. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No, let go. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. Shh, guys, I heard something. <sighs> Emily, Emily? Get her to room 203. Ma'am, you cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me, your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> What's wrong? I thought you loved me. <laughs> Emily, I promise you, I am never going to leave you again, okay? No, my foster mom's going to come back. <gasps> hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm going to take care of you from now on. I promise? I promise. Now, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Monroe, there's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? Mm-hmm, he's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I, and you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? <sighs> no, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow. She's... She's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. Join a dating program or go to prison? I guess I'm joining a dating program. Finding you boyfriend based on your internet search yeah, history. that's not creepy. Ready for your date. You know what? Why not? I hope you don't mind paying for the bill. Yeah, sir, you can give that to her. I forgot my wallet. Ooh, excuse me. You can actually just take this and keep the change. Goodbye. Wait, what? Finding another match. Thank you. Sup, girl? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I'm sorry, no. Just, just no. Finding new boyfriend. Please let it be someone decent. Hey, I'm Damien. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> you seem cold. Here, take my jacket. Thank you so much for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good. You were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she is... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. 
Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... Before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. You pick Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Hello, Danielle. I hope you slept well. These are for you. I want you to know you're safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you. I've been watching you. You're a stalker, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. More like I'm your biggest fan. You see, I've been following you on social media for quite some time now. And when all of us were forced to join this dating app, I made it my goal to become your perfect match. And thanks to this dating system, I'm now your boyfriend. Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. I need to switch my boyfriend. You have already picked a boyfriend, you may not change it. No, please, it is an emergency. Question, is your life currently at risk? Yes! That's all my money in my bank account. Five seconds to decide. Okay, deal. Contacting authorities now. Cheers to us, Danielle. I'm so glad you decided to wear the dress. Where are they? Where's who? You sure you're all right, miss? Danielle! Sir, stop resisting. I love you, Danielle. I'm gonna find you again. I promise. Are you ready to meet your new boyfriend? I get to pick whether I'm gonna have a baby brother or a baby sister? Pick sister. But I want a baby brother. Are you the one delivering the baby? No. Then pick sister. Fine. She's here. Hi. <laughs> Shh, no, don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> Give her to me. You're holding her wrong. Hey, what are you doing? Your little sister needs toys. You're way too old for that anyways. Ready? Catch! Ow! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you in the eye. <laughs> My baby, what did you do to her? It was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? Go to your room. Your sister needs a blood transfusion. What? Yes, it's a really long story, but I told them you would donate your blood. Come on, we gotta go to the hospital now. Wait! You need to donate your blood to your little sister. Come on, we have to get to the hospital now. Wait! Okay, honey, let me see your arm. Samantha! I'm sorry, I can't do it. You know I have a fear of needles. Your little sister needs your help, ma'am. We cannot force her. Maybe you want to donate? Yeah, why don't you donate your blood? After all, she's your favorite. Okay, I'll remember this. Mommy and I are going on vacation. What about me? You're staying here. You have school. We'll only be gone for two weeks or so. Two weeks? But what about food and- You can drive, and here's money for food. Now say bye, sissy. Bye, sissy. I used up all the money mom gave me for gas for school, and now I'm starving, and there's nothing to eat. Sorry you missed me. Leave a message after the beep. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Officer Bloom. Your neighbors have reported this house. Are your parents home, sweetheart? Why did my neighbors report my house? My report says that they heard a young female crying for over an hour. What's the matter, sweetheart? My mom, she went on vacation with my little sister, but she's not answering. Okay, how about your dad? We're not really in contact with him anymore. Listen, you're not in trouble, but would it be okay if I take a look inside your house? That's our pantry. This is all baby food. Yeah, so all that stuff is for my baby sister. Alright, but what about your food? I gotta report this then. Wait, um, is my mom gonna get in trouble? Because if that's the case, I take back what I said. She did leave me, like, a little bit of money for food. Relax, everything's gonna be okay. Officer, I can assure you I am not neglecting my daughter. Do you think I could have a word with her alone? Go right ahead. You called the cops on me? I'm sorry, I didn't. The neighbors did because- Shh. Do you want to take care of your baby sister by yourself? Then tell the cop what I tell you to say. You're going to tell the cop exactly what I say. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Sissy, you wanna play? Not right now, okay? <laughs> Mommy, Sissy's being mean to me. She is. <sighs> I wasn't. I was just telling her that I didn't want to play right now. Baby, go watch Coco Melon. I'm gonna talk to Samantha. Honey? What? 
I got in contact with your father. No, you didn't. Yes, Samantha, I did, and he has kindly offered to let you live with him. No, Mom, I don't want to go live with him. He's expecting you. Come on, we have to go. No, I haven't talked to him in a long time. I'm not going. Fine. Samantha, dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. Well, that's not what you told the cop, now is it? You said I don't feed you, so here's your food. Is it good, Samantha? Good. Mom? Yeah? I, um, I don't really feel so good. Why is Sissy sleeping? Because we're going on a road trip. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. We both like science, so maybe we should do scientists? No way. That's too risky. What if they find out about our powers? They could try to study us for research. What if they don't want both of us? Of course they're gonna adopt both of us. We're twins. They have to. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Oh look, it's the freaks. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Give that back to her. Max, don't do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey Molly, you gonna cry? <gasps> what the- uh -huh. That just floated out of my hands. Freaks. Was that really worth it? Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Molly, Max, are you ready to meet your new father? Yes. Yeah. Here he is. Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Yes. Now, come along. My mansion awaits you two. Oh, bye, guys. Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why do the doors have locks? It's just for your safety. Max, he's lying. Just give him a chance. Randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandparents already do this one all the time, so... Jump scare! <laughs> Ow, Lucy, why would you do that? I don't know, and my options were better than yours. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what have you done to me? You should really be more careful what option you pick. I did again! I did again! Here <laughs> Sucks to be you. That's it, come here. Mom! I can't make it to your party. I have to go to Liz's instead. Oh, yeah, totally. We can just plan something another time. Thanks for understanding, girly. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. What am I doing? Keep backing it up. Yeah, keep going. That's my car you're towing. Well, you're getting a big ticket for parking here. A ticket? Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. What the? Miss, are you intoxicated? You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Come, I'll show you. Hi, I'm Rachel, and that's Tim. But if you like, you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm pregnant! I'm gonna have a baby sister? I mean, she won't be your real sister, but yeah. Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. No, you're too old for them now. Don't be selfish. Hand them over. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No, oh my gosh, no. Don't touch her. <coughs> Mom, the baby's crying. <coughs> I think she's in the shower. <coughs> it's okay, it's okay. <coughs> Peekaboo. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mom! <gasps> oh my gosh! I was just- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was crying and you were in the shower, so I just picked her up and she fell asleep. I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her to me! How dare you disobey me! I was just singing her a song. Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. <laughs> Did you steal that from our baby? No, I'm sorry. I just, I was feeling sad, and I usually have these stuffed animals when I'm sad. I told you to give that to the baby. You don't need that anymore. Let me see it. No, my real parents gave this to me. Oh, I see how it is. We don't allow rudeness in this house. No! I think we should give her back to the adoption center. No, please. I'll do anything. Uh, I mean, we do need someone to help around the house with this new baby. Will you help us clean? If if I do that, then can I stay? Huh. Okay, as long as you're obedient and you clean well, you can stay. Did you finish the laundry? Yes. Good, because there's crumbs all over the floor. Get to it. What? Is there any way that I could have some dinner? She needs to be fed first. Listen, we both have to leave and we need you to watch the baby.
You're gonna let me watch her? Yes, because we have to, but if anything happens to her, I'm bringing you back to that adoption center. Understand? We'll be home by 10. Her bottles are in the fridge. Hey, it's okay. Where are they? Hi, it's me again. I'm just wondering where you guys are at, because it's already midnight. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Officer, are they- Well, kid, it uh, looks like your mother is in critical condition, and your father, he- he didn't make it, kid. I'm sorry. Your mom wants to see you. I'll hold her for you, honey. I'll watch over her, too. Be careful with her. We will, kid. Mom. I... Come here. I'm so sorry that my real daughter is going to be stuck with you. Ow. I should have never adopted you. Doctor. We lost her. I believe these belong to you. I'm so sorry, kid. Thank you. You and your sister are adorable. You didn't deserve to be treated like that, you know? My wife and I are actually looking to adopt. Really? Yeah, we've always wanted daughters. I can talk to my wife. Would you like that? Ah, oh, kid, come here. My best friend controls my bank account or my hand? Yeah, I don't need her making me go broke. She's out of town, so I wonder how this is gonna work. Incoming call. Oh, it's her. Hey. Girl, I can see and hear everything you do. You can? Yeah. This is so weird. Don't worry, I won't make you do anything bad. You may now begin your test. What are you doing? I swear, I'm not trying to do this. Maya, why would you do something like that? Revenge? For what? You need to see this. What is this? A picture of you and Maya's boyfriend, and it looks like you're holding hands. What? Yeah, it's been sent out to the whole school. Maya, I swear, this isn't what it looks like. I can't believe her. I'm gonna make her week a living hell. Maya, yeah, listen, I wasn't cheating with your boyfriend. I was just... Mm. I don't want to hear her excuses. I saw the photo. They were clearly holding hands. Are you okay? Mm. No, my best friend is controlling my hand today, and she's super mad at me. Dang, it sucks to be you. <laughs> yeah, can't say I disagree. Maya, if you would just let me explain- Excuse me, you need to pay attention. I take Jim very seriously. Of course, uh, so do I, coach. Are you mocking me, Miss Missouri? No, sir. <sighs> oh, you think you're funny, huh? Go run five laps. No, but I- Uh-uh-uh, don't want to hear it. Let's go. <sighs> oh, man. Oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. Here, you can have my water. Oh, thank you. Thanks again for the water. No problem. <gasps> what the? That's what you get for being a bad friend. All week you've been causing me trouble, and any time I try and explain what happened with your boyfriend, you... Mm. You do that. I don't care what you have to say anymore. I can't trust you. Oh, and I see her crush is coming near. Oh no, Nate, Maya, please, I'm begging you, don't- Hey, uh, how are you doing? Good. Great, actually. Sweet. Well, you know, prom's coming up, right? Yeah. I was wondering if you- <gasps> Nate? She just knocked out Nate. No, no, I would never. My friend is controlling my hand. Principal's office now. Listen, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Great, they put handcuffs on her. Now I can control her hand. What do you mean she's your sign language instructor? Wait, so that's why she was touching your hand? Why didn't you call me sooner? She's about to get arrested! Take her downtown. No, please wait. Stop. I was controlling her officers. She's innocent. You can get adopted by a teacher or a mafia boss? What is that? I'm gonna go ask some of the other kids. Hey guys, do any of you know what a mafia boss is? How innocent. Mafia bosses are super rich and they make for great parents. It's true, they're super nice. Really? Yeah, if that's one of your options, you should pick it. Okay. <laughs> Someone is here to adopt you. Hey, kid. Natalie, say hi. Hi. This is Mr. Russo. He's going to take great care of you. Come on, Natalie. Let's take you to your new home. I got you a little something. Thank you. Of course. 
So is it true that you make a lot of money? Excuse me? I don't like to talk about my job. I'm sorry, I was just asking. No questions about my work. Put these on and go to your room for 30 minutes. But why? Hey boss, he's ready for you. Natalie, go now. Okay. You're late again on your payment. This will be the last time, I swear. Yeah, it will be. Bye, Mr. Russo. Wait, before you go to school. I want you to, uh, stay away from any cops you see, okay? Okay. Hi, hun. I'm Officer Blair. I really should be going. We just want to talk to you about your father. He a mafia boss? No. Uh-huh. Don't lie to us. Hey! Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. You'll use this. A pen? It has a video camera in it. And you're gonna be recording him all the time. Got it? No, I won't betray my new dad. You don't help us, and you'll be going to juvie, young lady. So we suggest you comply. Maybe those kids lied to me. I mean, if I'm gonna betray him, I have to know what he's really doing for a living. Hey, Mr. Russo, I know you said to never ask about your work, but if I'm gonna be living here with you as your daughter, you have to be honest with me. <sighs> you sure you wanna know? I'm sure. Well, I make money by doing things that aren't exactly legal. Oh. May I ask why you adopted me? This job can get pretty lonely, and I always wanted a daughter, but maybe that was selfish. No, no, that wasn't selfish. It was actually kind of sweet. Since you were honest with me, I'm going to be honest with you. Some cops did approach me today, and they wanted me to record you and gather evidence on you using this pen. What? Give me that. I told you no cops. I know, I'm sorry. It's just they were very insistent, and one of the guys was grabbing onto my arm, and he was really scaring me. They said if I didn't gather evidence on you and record you, that I would go to juvie. They want a video, huh? Let's give them one. Did you get what we wanted? Yes, I did. All the evidence you need against my father is in this pen. You should listen to it now. Ow. Oh, oh, what the? Oh no, the pen must have malfunctioned. You two think you're funny? Do you want to go to juvie because- Wait a minute, your badges look really fake. Are they plastic? Time for plan B. Get her. Time for plan B. Get her. You just had to notice our badges. Now we're gonna have to do something we didn't want to do. You see, we're enemies of your father. Because you didn't listen to us, we're gonna have to use you as bait to catch him. No, he won't fall for that. Yeah, he will. And then he'll be killed. No, I'll warn him. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna tell him anything. Ow. Lock her in the room and give her something to calm down. No. Hey, kid. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. No, please. You have to leave me here. Shh. It's gonna be all right. Let's go this way. No. We knew you'd come. Remember us? You're the ones who wanted more money for the job. You ripped us off. Now you and your little brat are gonna pay. You should know, Ben. You think I'd come here alone? <coughs> Let's go. Mr. Russo, I'm really scared. It's okay. I know, kid. That's why I brought these for you. Put them on and close your eyes. Stop it! I told you. You mess with me and you end up on the floor. Are we safe now? Yeah, don't you worry. They won't be able to bother you again. Come here, sweetie. Are you sure you want to return her back to the adoption center? After some thought, yeah. I think it's what's best for her. You deserve a different father. But I don't want a different father. I want you. Time to go, Natalie. I'll never forget you, Mr. Russo, and I'll never forget how you saved my life. Aw, the mafia boss returned her. Just leave me alone. I bet nobody will adopt her now. Natalie, someone's here to see you. Hey, kid. Mr. Russo? I thought about what you said about not wanting another father. And the truth is, ever since you've been gone, I miss you. Would you still want me to be your... Yes. I promise, I'm always going to protect you. You look like the girl from Zapota. No, you look like the girl from Zapota. <laughs> Sweetheart, your battery's at 10%. Time to charge. Okay, Mom. Five more minutes. Okay. Patty cake, patty, patty cake. cake. <gasps> You're almost at 5%. I'll be fine. Just one more minute. Okay. You should really go charge now. <gasps> Lacey? Lacey? Mrs. Stevens, she's not waking up. No, her battery. Honey, please, please, please wake up. She's charging. Mommy? Oh, she's alive. You almost died on me. I'll never let this happen again. Mom, I'm going to school. Do you have your... Don't worry, I have my charger. Actually, honey, you won't need that today. Because I made you this. A bracelet? Put it on. It's actually a portable charger. It's a new invention. You won't have to charge ever again. Whoa, thanks, Mom. Of course. Don't get it wet, okay, honey? Okay.
How does she have so much energy? It's not fair. It's because of that new bracelet she got. I have an idea. Hey, Lacey, you thirsty? Whoa, <laughs> uh, you okay? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, can I please use your... Oh, what are you doing, Charger? You took my battery life. How did you do that? Join a dating program or go to prison? I guess I'm joining a dating program. Finding you boyfriend based on your internet search yeah, history. Yeah, that's not creepy. Ready for your day. You know what? Why not? I hope you don't mind paying for the bill. Yeah, sir, you can give that to her. I forgot my wallet. Ooh, excuse me. You can actually just take this and keep the change. Goodbye. Wait, what? Finding another match. Thank you. Sup, girl? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I'm sorry, no. Just, just no. Finding new boyfriend. Just let it be someone decent. Hey, I'm Damien. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> you seem cold. Here, take my jacket. Thank you so much for the jacket. <laughs> no problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good. You were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she's... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. You picked Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Hello, Danielle. I hope you slept well. These are for you. I want you to know you're safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you. I've been watching you. You're a stalker, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. More like I'm your biggest fan. You see, I've been following you on social media for quite some time now. And when all of us were forced to join this dating app, I made it my goal to become your perfect match. And thanks to this dating system, I'm now your boyfriend. Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. I need to switch my boyfriend. You have already picked a boyfriend, you may not change it. No, please, it is an emergency. Question, is your life currently at risk? Yes! That's all my money in my bank account. Five seconds to decide. Okay, deal. Contacting authorities now. Cheers to us, Danielle. I'm so glad you decided to wear the dress. Where are they? Where's who? You sure you're all right, miss? Danielle! Sir, stop resisting. I love you, Danielle. I'm gonna find you again. I promise. Are you ready to meet your new boyfriend? Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba super base. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet, because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head, so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill, chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm gonna buy you contacts, but first we gotta fix that unibrow. 
I'm gonna pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand, and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? Alright, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I get shouldn't Get away have... from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them, and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover, and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let go! Get in my car. Right, girls, on the count of three, reveal your symbols to me. One, two... Three. I got a heart. I got a diamond. I got a star. What did you say, Denise? I said I got a star. <gasps> what? Mom! Isn't that symbol the same one that- Cover that up. What? But why would I need to- Don't question me. Just do it. Aunt Cora, I covered it up, see? Good. Now if anyone is to ask you about your symbol, you are to simply say you didn't get one. Do you understand? I feel so bad you didn't get a symbol. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Well, I found out Jake and I both have a circle. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I'm gonna go show him. Yeah, go ahead. Movie star Caleb Woods reveals his symbol. Take a look. Caleb, show us your symbol. Guys, come on. I got somewhere to be. Please. Oh, come on. All right. It's a star, okay? Is that the mail? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Give it to me. This is it! I want to open it! No, I got it first! Girls, please, at least try to act civilized. <gasps> we won! Oh my gosh, we did! Let me see that. We are pleased to inform you that your whole family has been invited to a once-in-a-lifetime movie premiere. Do you know what this means? You two are going to have a chance to hook up with a big-time movie star. This is crazy. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I call dibs on Caleb Woods. Wait, he's gonna be there? Of course he's gonna be there! He's the star of the movie, you idiot! 
We have no time to waste. We have to get you two some outfits. What about me? It said everyone in the family was invited. Yes, and last time I checked, you were adopted. But you guys chose to adopt me. Right. Well, that was because of my sister's will. It clearly stated that if anything were to happen to her, I were to adopt you. Well, you guys can't just flirt with celebrities. You have to go with the person that has your same... I told you to cover that up. I did, but I took a shower this morning and I guess the makeup was... Still... Quiet. I don't care about your excuses. Where's our dresses? They're right here. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Wait a minute, did you guys change your symbols? You changed yours to a star? That's my symbol. Yeah, so what? So what? It's against the rules. I'm gonna turn you guys in. Mom! Put that phone down, Denise. The star is my soulmate symbol. It belongs to- Caleb Woods. I know. That's why you wanted me to cover it up. Let me ask you something, Denise. Do you really think that he would want you? I mean, look at you. He's a big time movie star and you're a high school dropout. You made me drop out of school because you said I needed to focus more on the chores. Yes, but I pay you for everything that you do. But if you disobey me... Ow. Mark my words, you'll end up in the streets because trust me, no one is going to hire you. Girls, the limo's here. Hey, guess who's back from her beauty pageant contest? Maya, how did you get in here? The back door is open. I figured I'd surprise you. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine, really. So you do have a symbol! What? No, I... Girl, listen. I don't know what your crazy aunt of yours did to you while I was away, but you need to tell me everything. Maya... Come on, Denise. I want to help you. Oh, no, she didn't. You deserve to go to that premiere and meet Caleb. It's too late now anyways. Not necessarily. I have an idea. Okay, Denise, come on out. Oh my god. I love it. Are you sure it's okay that I borrow all of this? Of course. Oh, and here's your fake VIP badge that I made on Photoshop. I just really hope my aunt and cousins don't recognize me. Hi, excuse me, Caleb? You want my autograph? No, actually, I... I wanted to show you this. You got a star, too. Mr. Woods, is she bothering you? No, not at all. Here, uh, let's go somewhere more private. Glad you came up to me. I haven't talked to a girl like you in a long time. What about all your fans? Don't get me wrong, I love my fans, but they don't really know me. And my family doesn't even care to know me. Yeah, do you ever feel like your family just uses you so they can get what they want? Even if that means they hurt you in the process? Yep, like nothing I do is ever- Good enough for them? Yeah, exactly. Wait, you know, I realize I never got your name. Oh, um, my name? It's, um, Caleb, over here! Who's this? They're taking photos of us? Yeah, sorry. Guys, come on, can we get some space? I have to go. Wait! Denise, where are you? There you are! I am so upset with you, Denise! How dare you let your cousin go out with such a big stain on her dress? You were supposed to have gotten it dry cleaned! Oh, I guess it must have, um, slipped my mind. Well, you are very lucky that I am exhausted right now. We'll talk about this more in the morning. Come along, girls. We need our beauty sleep. Caleb Woods was spotted talking to a mystery girl last night. The paparazzi got these photos of her, but no one is exactly sure who she is. You wanted to talk to me? Yes, I was wondering if you wanted to explain to me why I found this under your bed. You, you came into my room? I own this house, now answer my question. Were you the one talking to Caleb? Yes, it was me. But you know what? I had every right to go see him. He is my soulmate. So if you want to kick me out for doing that, go right ahead because I am tired of all of you guys treating me with such disrespect. She's going to be in so much trouble. Girls, you can stop spying on us. Denise is right. We need to treat her with more respect. Here you go, Denise. Now relax and watch whatever you want. I'll be back, dear. I'm going to get you something to drink. Here you are, Denise. I got you your favorite. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Here, let me see it. Mm. See? I'm just trying to be a bit nicer to you. All right, well, thanks. Please, if you're watching this, DM me a picture of yourself and your mark. 
Caleb is looking for you. Yeah, I'm gonna message him. But Denise, you're a fake. What happened to being nice? I'm just being honest, dear. Without that wig and all that makeup, you don't look so good. Do you really want to reveal yourself? Yes, because my mom always taught me to be my... Poor Denise, you really did take after my sister. So gullible and innocent. Always outshining my daughters, though. <laughs> perfect little face. Perfect soulmate. Well, not anymore. Mom, what did you do to her? Oh, relax. She's fine. She's just going to be asleep for a little while. Now, put this on. What? Me? Yes, you. You look the most like Denise. We'll make Caleb think you're her. Now while Chloe gets ready, I'll take a picture of your mark. Perfect. Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet, but obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and Dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Andrina. Okay, true or false, a mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I gonna grow a tail too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Draki Logan. Sup, Adrina. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is... You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair's getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrina. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later. Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone, and my hair is looking like this. Oh, no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because we want something. What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. It worked, but how did you know? I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are going to stay extinct anymore. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm going to go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. 
Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot. But... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh shit. Talking about things. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. Okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Mate. Oh, no, he did it. Mate. Oh, no, he did it. <laughs> I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. Oh, he is so dead. Honey, mom, oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate. Shh, enough chit chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom. Uh-uh, get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna- May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit. I know it's against dress code, but- There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to- Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and- Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom- there you are. You're late. Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful. So I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right. Come on. Let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. <laughs> Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. <sighs> Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay, here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? At least that's a little bit more normal. Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula, and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zach Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... Oh! You don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish, I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. 
I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. Hey, new girl, aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa, I'm just saying it's kind of weird that you have a doll. Hey, let me touch it. Back off. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her alone. That doll is the last thing her parents gave her before they passed away. Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man, it even looks like her, too. That's some Annabelle shit right there. 20 bucks says you won't try and steal it from her. All right, bet, you're on. Hey, oh. Hey, give it back. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? This. <laughs> Detention over a doll on your first day. I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but... But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm throwing it away. No. Let go. <sighs> it's for your own good. No, he ripped it. Secret file X? What is this? Secret file X? What is this? I should be able to play this on my laptop using this. Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're seeing this, that means you must have kept the doll we gave you. If so, we're so proud of you because that means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time to explain, but... It's coming. Listen, your Uncle Scott cannot be trusted, and that doll isn't a toy. It's a key to a safe. Don't... Uncle, get... The no! Come on. The doll's hand is the key to the safe. The safe is in the basement. My doll's hand unlocks a secret safe in our basement? And my Uncle Scott can't be trusted. I have to find out what's in there. Hey, kiddo, just check. What's in your hands? What's in your hands? I was writing you an apology card. Uh-huh. Let me see it. It's not finished yet. Does it look like I give a damn? Let me see it. I can't because it's a surprise. Expecting company? No, are you? No. Stay here. I have to get to the basement. Okay, I'm in the basement, but where's the safe? <sighs> That's it. The video said the doll's hand is the key to unlocking the safe. Scan hand here. Opened. It worked. Whatever's inside must be very... Valuable. I've been trying to get that safe open for years. You knew about the safe? Yeah, kid. I know about a lot of things. And one of them is that you lied to me. I'm... I'm sorry. Oh no, you're not sorry. But you're gonna be. You don't even know what your parents did for a living. Yes, I do. My mom and dad were both lawyers. <laughs> lawyers. They were spies. Spies? My parents couldn't be spies. They're not cool enough. Oh, kid. You're so innocent. Your parents were actually smarter than I thought. I'll get that doll. But right now, I'm gonna get that treasure that's in this safe. Access denied. Looks like only you can get it. There's a crown in there. Now get it. Access granted. Yes, that crown is worth millions. Okay, hand it over. Wait, I want to know what really happened to my parents. Nah, kid, I don't think you really want to know the answer to that. <laughs> Veronica, open the door. Veronica, open the door. Veronica, open the door. No, not until you tell me what really happened to my parents. How did they even get this crown? I told you, your parents were spies and they acquired many riches on their missions. That crown was a gift from a princess they saved. Your parents were rich and I needed money, but they would never give it to me. So I decided to take something that they wanted and to never give it to them. Me. And you want to know what I did to your parents? Freeze! FBI! Whoa, hey, what's going on? Are you injured? No, but I don't understand. How did you guys know to come? Well, we've been investigating your uncle for quite some time now. Recently, we gathered enough evidence to make the arrest. I told you I'm okay. I don't need an ambulance. Honey, the ambulance isn't for you. What? While we were searching your house, we found a shed in your backyard. Did you know about the shed? Uncle Scott said it was infested with bugs. Actually, we believe we found your parents. They're in critical condition, but they're alive, honey.
This week is important, kids. Because our scales appeared. Yes, since this is you and your brother's 18th birthday week, we'll finally get to find out how evil you two are. I already know. Mine's going straight to villain. Of course it is, darling. Your last name isn't Menace for nothing. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Mindy Menace, world's greatest supervillain. We got you suits. <gasps> yes, sweet. I know, but you can't wear them until your birthday. Huh? Why not? You're not a true villain until the scale says so. My suit better be flameproof. Yeah, and mine better handle ice. Mindy, Max, don't worry. They do. Can I get a cape? No, no, no capes. capes. Hey, how'd your scale go up? Oh, I took your credit card when you weren't looking. I hope you don't mind. I got a couple things. Oh, ow! Ha, huh, that's what you get. Whoa, chill. I've got a plan. And you're going to want to hear about it. I know a way we can move our scales a lot. I'm listening. See that bank? Yeah. Well, you and I are going to rob it. Oh, all right. Sounds good to me. And look what I got. Our suits, but mom and dad said we're not supposed to. Wear them to. until our birthdays. I know, but we gotta prove to them that we can be real villains. You know what? You're right. Wait, Max, what should our villain names be? Huh, how about I'm Frost and you're Blaze? Okay, not bad, Max. Let's do this. Everybody freaks. Do what he says or else you're gonna get barbecued. Fry the safe. On it. Money, here we come. Whoa, look at all that cash. Not so fast. Careful, he's a super. What's your name? I'm Witherstorm. <laughs> nice. Why do they call you that? Allow me to demonstrate. Looks like Weatherboy can control Mother Nature. Blaze, get him. With pleasure. I don't think so. <sighs> oh, crap, my powers don't work in this rain. He's all yours, Frost. Don't worry, Blaze. I got him. I suggest you both surrender now before the cops show up. Giving up's not our style. I can't believe we escaped with so much cash. I know, right? Max, how did your scale move? I did something. <laughs> what did you do? I'll show you. Follow me to the lair. Ta-da! You brought the superhero to our house? Yeah, I had my buddies bring him over, and when he wakes up, I'm gonna find out his secret identity. I'm gonna use Dad's gadgets to interrogate him. Max, Dad's gadgets are really dangerous. I don't know if you should use them on him. What? Of course they're dangerous. That's the whole point. Hey, your scale moved towards Hero. Oh, don't tell me you like him. You like him? I do not. Uh-uh. You think he's cute, don't you? No. As your twin, I can tell you're lying. Are you guys gonna argue this whole time? What the hell is this place? Your worst nightmare. Max. So, your real name's Max, huh? <sighs> what? That must be my new gadget. Be right back. Why can't I use my powers? Sorry, but that bracelet on your wrist, it's a power dampener. I need you to set me free. And why is that? There's a tornado headed towards my family's house, and I'm the only one with the powers to stop it. Yeah, right. You really think I'm that stupid? I'm serious. Come on. I can see good in you. Please, you have to release me. Where is he? He he escaped. Your scale. You let him free. I'm telling Mom and Dad. No, Max, wait. Stay there. Wait. Mom, Dad? Our lie detector arrived in the mail. Now tell us, did you set the hero free? No. Scanning. Lie detected. Mindy? I told you. Look, I'm sorry. It was only so he could protect his family. Plus, he promised he would owe me a favor in return. Mindy, that's enough. You are turning into a superhero. She sure has a crush on one. I do not. Listen very carefully. We don't date superheroes in this family. You're gonna get rid of him. Understand? Now remember, if you don't complete the mission, don't come home. I saw you from down the street. You're not here to cause any trouble, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. How do you know my real name? My parents did some digging on you. Enough talk. Ugh. You brought your brother with you? We're kind of a team. Stop! You're better than this! Shut up! My sister is a villain. Okay, Max, that's enough. Why aren't you fighting back? Because I... I don't want to hurt you. Huh, how pathetic. Finish him. No, I won't. You were right, Max. I... I do care about him. 
What? Ugh, I knew it. You've gone soft. You're almost a superhero. And you're in love with one. Well, who says heroes and villains can't like each other? No, you have to make a choice. Our family or him. Max. I'm serious, Mindy. Pick one. Fine. Then I choose him. How dare you! Knock it off. Nah, you're about to become a hero, which makes you my enemy. You want to know why I chose him over this family? Yeah, why? Because he's the only one that's ever been nice to me. Nice? We're a family of villains. We're not nice. You always were the weaker twin. <sighs> you leave her alone, right now! Aw, uh, look who's up. What are you gonna do, huh? Simple. I'm gonna create your biggest weakness. Extreme heat. No, stop. <sighs> hero. I knew you were a hero, Mindy! Remember when you said you would owe me a favor? Do you think I could stay at your house? My parents will never let me come home now. Of course. My family is going to love you. Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid, because family members, they are worth a lot more than money. Right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey? What? You're sweating. No. You okay? Um, no. I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm gonna go wash my face. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, shit. I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No. You're a hider. I can explain. You little liar. I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention. The game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I going to do? Shh. Listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker. You're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh. Don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her! Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because... Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like, like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them. You run. No, I'm not going to leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go. <laughs> Ellie, found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. 
Do you have a brother that's a hider? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. Want to end the game? It'll be okay. No, please. Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone. You pick the next game. <laughs> See how much mommy and daddy love me, or see how much are in their bank account? I already know mommy and daddy love me, so let's see how much money they have. <gasps> wow, they have a billion dollars? I must be getting a lot of Christmas presents this year. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Thank you! What else did you get me? That's it, Pumpkin. We didn't get you anything else. Mommy and daddy are very poor. But I see that you have a lot of money. Uh, there must have been a mistake. Don't sound spoiled. Be grateful. So, guys, any chance I'm gonna get a phone for my birthday? <laughs> oh, poor thing. No, you're too young. Yeah, I figured you were gonna say that. But when do you think I will be old enough to have a phone? You'll get next one next year. Next year, you literally say that every year. No, we don't. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me. If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. That can't be me. I'm just being delusional. We should give her back now. The reward is one million dollars. But how do we get the reward money for her without them knowing we took her in the first place? Shh, let's talk about it over here. The number on the TV. They said to call it if... If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. I need a phone. I'll have to take mom and dad's. No, I just gotta call this number. No, I just gotta call this number. Oh, what the hell was that? <gasps> you want to tell us why you were in our room? And why my phone is cracked? I, um, I didn't think you guys saw me. I was just, um... What is this? She knows we're not her parents. She was trying to call the number on the news, huh? Well, you know what? It's about time she found out. Surprised it took her this long. I mean, how could she never question how we all have different hair and eyes and why we never let her on social media? I mean, come on. You two are sick and I'm leaving. No, you're not. Now turn. We gotta make you look pretty for your billionaire mommy and daddy. They'll be so happy. And the final touch, a little bow. Oh, babe, isn't she so cute? Your birth parents are offering a big reward for you, so you better not mess this up. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Richard, what in heavens did you order? This box is not from... Me. What is going on? Read the note. It'll explain everything. Your prayers have been answered. Here is your biological daughter. We have to send the one million dollar reward to this number or you die? Yes, so please just wire it to them right now and I'm so sorry about all of this. Darling, this doesn't sound right. I think we ought to just call the police. Yes, darling, I agree. No, please, no, police. I, I can prove to you that I'm your real daughter. I know how much is in your bank accounts. It's two billion exactly. How do you know that? Because I picked to see how much money were in my parents' bank account. It says if we don't send it, she will die. What if she is our daughter? Can you please just send them the money? No, I have to call the police. I'm not sending anyone money. I have to call the police. Wait! No! We have to get her to a hospital. Doctor, is she going to be okay? Ma'am, we can't have you in here. Mr. and Mrs. Connors, we have some good news. She's going to be okay, and we did the blood test as you requested, and it does look like she is your biological daughter. Richard, did you hear that? I can't believe it. Hi, darling. Don't worry. Everything is all right. Those horrible people have been put in prison. What's going to happen to me now? We're going to take care of you, love. You are? Yes, we, um, we found out you're actually our daughter. I knew it. We never stopped looking for you. Your father and I missed you so much. We love you. Hey, what's the matter? No one's ever told me that before. Well, we'll be telling you that every day, love. 
Now you get some rest, and we'll be here when you wake up. Hey, new girl, aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa, jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her- Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man, it even looks like her too. That you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Aw, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but- But nothing, you're too old for that thing now, I'm th- No, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl, aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her- Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man, it even looks like her too. That you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Aw, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but- But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th- no, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her- Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man. It even looks like her too. That you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Aw, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but- But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th- oh. No, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're s- means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time- Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her- Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man, it even looks like her too. That you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Aw, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but- But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th- no, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her- Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man. It even looks like her too. That you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Aw, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but- But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th- oh. No, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're s- means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time- Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her- Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man, it even looks like her too. That you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Aw, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but- But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th- no, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're s- means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her- Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man. It even looks like her too. That you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Aw, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but- But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th- oh. No, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're s- means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time- Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her- Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man, it even looks like her too. That you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Aw, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but- But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th- no, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If your s- means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her- Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man. It even looks like her too. That you're on. 
Hey, oh. Hey, give it back. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but. But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm. Th no, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X. Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're mean, you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her. Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man. It even looks like her too. That you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but. But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm. Th no, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're so mean, you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her. Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man. It even looks like her too. That you're on. Hey, oh. Hey, give it back. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but... But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th No, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're mean, you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her... Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man, it even looks like her, too. That you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but... But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th No, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're mean, you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her. Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man. It even looks like her, too. That you're on. Hey, oh. Hey, give it back. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but. But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm. Th no, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're mean, you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her. Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man. It even looks like her, too. That you're on. Hey, oh. Hey, give it back. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but... But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th No, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're mean, you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her... Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man, it even looks like her, too. That you're on. Hey, oh. Hey, give it back. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but... But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th No, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're mean, you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her. Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man. It even looks like her, too. That you're on. Hey, oh. Hey, give it back. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but. But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm. Th no, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're mean, you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her. Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man. It even looks like her, too. That you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but... But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th No, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? 
Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're so means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl, aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Well, jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her- Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man, it even looks like her too. That- You're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Aw, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but- But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th- no, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her- Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man. It even looks like her too. That you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Aw, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but- But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th- oh. No, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're s- Means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time- Hey, new girl. Aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa. Well, jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her- Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man. It even looks like her too. That you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Aw, what you gonna do? I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but- But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm th- no, he ripped it. X? What is this? Secret file X? Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time. Greenheart Kingdom has gotten more powerful and their king has vowed to capture you. Oh my gosh, mom. I told you I can protect myself. No, we're joining forces with another kingdom. What kingdom? The Blue Heart Kingdom. You are to marry their prince. Son, their kingdom needs our help. I'm not marrying Bree from the Red Heart Kingdom. This is stupid. If you bring him here, I'm not speaking to him. At least give him a chance. No, literally everyone knows that people from the Blue Heart Kingdom are stuck up, sloppy, and they don't even wear their kingdom's colors. Like, who does that? Stop it. Go over there. Princess, it is a pleasure to meet you. And may I introduce my son, Prince Devin. <clears throat> Say hello. Hello, Bree. Hello, Devin. You can't force me to marry him. I'm sorry, but we need his kingdom's protection from the green heart. No, we don't. We can protect ourselves. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go have a little word with the prince. Honey, wait. Devin, your majesty, your help is no longer required, so, um, you guys can just go. Great, come on, dad, let's get out of here. Son, now wait just a minute. We agreed you two would be married. I didn't agree to anything. Yeah, neither did I. So, goodbye, Prince Devin. It was really nice meeting you. Yeah, real nice. What's up with you two? Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Just, um, have a safe trip home. I still can't believe you did that. Well, Mom, actually, I've been thinking a lot about the prince, because yesterday when we touched, my heart- My queen! The green hearts! They're here! Stay in this room. Mom, is that you? Surprise. You're- The king of green hearts. Sorry to tell you, your guards didn't make it. Why are you doing this? What do you want? Revenge. Your father stole your mother from me. She was supposed to be my wife. What? You have to let that go. My father passed away years ago. I know, which means there's no one left to protect you. Your powers are no match for mine. You're coming with me, and you're never gonna see your mother again. You came back. Listen, when I shook your hand, I felt something. I did too. I think somehow we created a new power. Or maybe our powers are stronger together. That could be the way we defeat this guy. Here, give me your hand. Hey, moron. Come and get us. Now. No! The Green Hearts have been defeated, and the wedding is off. But honey, the legend says if two people's heart colors mix together, that means they're soulmates. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you, and if... You know, you want to come back and visit me, you're more than welcome to.